talking about. Last time these two teams hooked up was a much a different night for both teams. Eastern Illinois was a team that was in disarray. They lost to Hawaii that night back in 1999. They went on to finish their season at 2-10. And, and as you said, the Hawaii football team was on a 19-game losing streak. And back then, when Eastern Illinois faced Hawaii in 1999, head coach June Jones was in his second game as Hawaii head coach. And they won that game. And as you said, they went on to a great, successful season that year. This, this time around, both teams are much different. Eastern Illinois comes off a 9-2 season. Hawaii off a 9-3 season. And as for Eastern Illinois, they may be 1-AA, but they can play some 1-A football. Their quarterback, Tony Romo, is a good quarterback. Earlier this week, I had a chance to talk to Hawaii head coach June Jones and ask him about Tony Romo in our Geico Quarter of the Week. He's a NFL kind of quarterback, you know, big, strong. He's got an NFL arm, and, uh, you know, he, he, can, he can run, but he doesn't. that's not his deal. I mean, he wants to throw the ball. Uh, uh, I'll say this, he, he's got uh, the skills to beat you, and uh, that's what you, you always uh, know when the other team has one of those kind of guys that they can get on you in a hurry, and he, he's one of those kind of guys, and their wideout is a big-time player, too. There you see June Jones on the far side. The Eastern Illinois Panthers have been able uh, to win the toss, and they have elected to receive. Let's uh, take a look at the keys to tonight's game. Jim, always in the first game, uh, the special teams become such a big thing because, as June Jones says, we've tackled, the uh, University of Hawaii's tackled one time. And so open field tackling is going to be a big thing, snaps and kicks. And our backs and, and receivers on both teams have not been tackled much live, and so turnovers are a big thing. So turnovers and special teams for both teams, whoever can excel in those areas, will give themselves a big edge tonight. Eastern Illinois coming as the defending champion, and of course Bob Spoo, a celebrated coach. He is now in his 16th year coaching at Eastern Illinois. And his record, 93, 77, and 1. And June Jones in his fourth season, 21 and 16. So 2002 upon us. And it is a moment of excitement waiting all throughout the summer for the start of the college football season, and here it is. Kicking off will be Justin Ayat for Hawaii, number 47. Andre Raymond, number five from Hialeah, Florida, is deep. There you see Justin Ayat. Ayat, the sophomore, out of Kamehameha. And we are underway. Into the end zone, Raymond, five yards deep. He will not return it. So Eastern Illinois will put the ball in play at the 20-yard line. They are led by Tony Romo. Romo, a three-year starter. Last year, he passed for 2,068 yards, 21 touchdowns, only six interceptions. He has 51 touchdowns in his career. And his best performance last year came against Toledo, where he had 414 yards. Here comes Eastern Illinois, first down from the 20-yard line single setback is J.R. Taylor, number 22, Osborne and O'Neill, on a flank to the near side. Ball is given to Taylor. Taylor back to the line of scrimmage, and they wedge him to the turf there. Vance Samu Seba and Louis Funga. Funga, number 99, and Samu Seba, number 92. Eastern Illinois offensive starters across that front, and a very good front. All returnees, Mike Bunyak, Kevin Hill, Scott Shaw, Chris Rosenland, Frank Castanoli across that uh, front. We'll get to the skilled positions. There's Eller, Bumpus, O'Neill. Back to pass and swatted down was Romo. That'll bring up third down. Third and nine. A lot of pressure from Hawaii, Jim. There you see the defensive starters for Hawaii, Korea. Louis Funga instead of Puata, Lance Samuseva, and Kevin Jackson. Jim, a lot of pressure from Hawaii early. They blitzed on first down, a lot of pressure on the pass on second down. Let's see what they do here on third. Third down and nine. The motion is Raymond. Romo to throw, lays it off. That's complete to Taylor with running room. Taylor over the 30, fumbles the ball, and then gathers it back in. That's enough for a first down game in the play of 10. 
That was a great job by Eastern Illinois. They caught Hawaii in a blitz, and they got the ball out to Taylor uh, and managed to block back on the man that was covering him. So a big play for Eastern Illinois. Taylor appeared to be shaken up on that play as it goes to the sidelines. You take another look. Let's look at this. Hawaii's rushing. Tremendous pressure by Hawaii, but they got it off. Hawaii has blitzed now two of the first three plays. Andre Raymond, as they just lay the ball off to him on a hitch pattern. Abraham Elamimian there to make the stop number 37 from that left corner for Hawaii. Gain on the play from the 31 to the 36. Eastern Illinois has a bye next week, Jim, and plays Kansas State the following week, so I don't think they're intimidated by playing Hawaii. Taylor is back in there at tailback. The fullback is Andre Jones. He is used almost exclusively as a blocker. This is Taylor. Taylor finding the hole. Trying to nose over the 40. Can't do it. Finally, he's thrown back. Thrown back by Lance Samuseva. Samuseva, 5'11", 290, the junior out of Y&I in Farrington High School in Honolulu. Gain on the play. Uh, close to four yards. They put it right at the 40, and that will bring up third down and one. Just underway, the first drive of the game for Eastern Illinois. Andre Raymond comes back into the game, and they come out with triple wide receivers to the near side. From the shotgun is Romo. Raymond now goes back and joins it. They give it on a sweet note. Keeping the ball as Romo throws. That is complete to um, Alfred Osborne at the 50-yard line. Great deception. And one of the rainbows is down. That looks like Louis Funga. Funga is coming off two shoulder surgeries last season. And this does not bode well for the Hawaii defense. Replay we're going to see, Jim, here. A nice fake by Romo and a good job of avoiding the rush, laying the ball off. Terrific job by Romo on a third and one. Hiram Peters, number 33, finally diagnosed the play. But that is another first down for Eastern Illinois. Not playing tonight was, uh, uh, was uh, LeBoy, Travis LeBoy. He was supposed to start, but he is not starting tonight. And Russell Yamanoa has more on that. Yeah, I just talked to Travis LeBoy, the uh, defensive lineman from the University of Hawaii. He said he was suspended by the coaching staff for this game. No reason in it. So discipline problem for the board. Concern for Louis Funga. Funga still lying on the turf, face down. Louis coming off a year, Jim, where he did not play last year. I'm sure had high hopes for this season. And this would be a blow to the to the Warriors if, if Louis were to be injured. Take another look, see if we can see the injury to Louis Funga. He's number 99. Funga. You can see Louie right here going down. Looked like somebody got to his legs and cut him as he pursued to the football. I think, Jim, one of the things we're seeing early in this game, uh, I think a byproduct of them recruiting in Florida as much as they do is that you see they have a good bit of quickness because foot, high school football in Florida is probably better than any place in the United States of America in terms of speed and quickness. And they have 14 athletes from Florida, and I think it's a uh, testimony to uh, the quickness that they have.
Well, air conditioning, power windows, power mirrors, intermittent wipers, dual airbags, fog lamps, liquid fill motor mounts, power steering, rear window defroster, CD player, tilt steering wheel, daytime running lights, steel reinforced passenger compartment, digital instrument display, 141 horsepower, and a lot of fun. All for under $15,000. That's what's in this name, Aerial Sedan and SX by Suzuki. Only at your Suzuki Toyota dealers of Hawaii. Louis Funga helped off the field. Let's look at Louis Funga to, the, to your left right here. You're going to see him being cut by Frank Castagnoli right there. And he's down and helped off the field, replaced by Isaac, Isaac Sapawanga, who is seeing his first action, Jim, in a Warrior lineup. Sapawanga from Pongo Pongo, American Samoa. Number 97, 6'3", 315 pound defensive lineman. First down at the Hawaii 49 for Eastern Illinois. Romo takes the sweep back to pass all day. Still looking. Now throws long up the sideline. It is incomplete. It was intended for Andre Jones, the fullback, coming out of the backfield. And Kevin Milhouse was covering on the play. But what deception in the backfield by Romo. He had no pressure for a long time. That'll bring up second down and 10. The run fake held the Hawaii defense, and Sapawanga, that is his first play of college football. He got hung up on the line of scrimmage. There you see Isaac Sapawanga. Second down and 10 from the 49. Ball is given up the middle, chipped up at the line is J.R. Taylor, Chris Brown, the middle linebacker. Brown, 6'1", 255-pound senior from Kahalu. And also Damian High School in Honolulu. He is the team captain. You're going to see Chris Brown here coming inside on the snap, penetrating on the snap, making the play in the backfield. Hawaii has chosen to bring their linebackers quite a bit so far in this ballgame. Big third down play again. Eastern Illinois has been successful in two third down attempts. Let's see if they are here. Romo throws over the middle. That's complete with running room, but tripped up. Was number 88, Nick Eller, the tight end. Eller, when he caught the ball, caught that ball in a little territorial bubble, but he was unable to make anything out of it because Pisa, uh, Pisa Tinoi Samoa was there. Tom Schofield will come in and punt, and this is his first. This is his first punt. punt. Your first punt on the road, Jim. This is scary for everybody uh, in the Panther on the Panther sideline. Clifton Herbert is deep for Hawaii. Tom Schofield, uh, the true freshman out of Merrill, Wisconsin. Lays it up. Trying to get it close, but this one will end up in the end zone. And Hawaii will put the ball in play for the first time this season at the 20-yard line. So Eastern Illinois has a modicum of success. They move the ball over midfield, and then they stall there. The bad news for Hawaii, Louis Funga counted on as a mainstay in that defensive line. We'll have to check and see how serious that injury is. But Hawaii now has it for the first time, and Timmy Chang will start at quarterback. Chang led the nation in total offense when he was injured last year at 349.7 yards per game. He was injured in the right skin. So he comes out first and 10 from the 20. Running the run and shoot. Timmy dancing, throws, that is tipped and complete. That will be second down and 10. It was intended for Clifton Herbert on a crossing pattern. The offensive line for Hawaii, a very experienced offensive line. And as we take another look, there you see Hunter, Kajioka, Kawata, Manuai, and Moy Nor. Justin Colbert, Chad Owens, and Nate Ilawa are the wide receivers, along with Neil Gossett. Farrell Mitchell is the running back. Second down and 10. Chang with time. Throws. That is incomplete. Herbert there for the catch, but Nick Allison was also there defensively. Let's take a look at the defensive starters now for Eastern Illinois. Schmink, McCottrell, Lorick, and Lothi in that defensive front. The linebackers are Thompson, Bentley, and Ricks. And the defensive backs are Williams, the only senior on the defense, with Fred Miller, Kevin Anderson, and Nick Allison. Allison in on that last play. 
defending against Herbert. Third down and 10. Allison, nice job of sitting back in the coverage and breaking up on the throw. Third and 10 from the 20. Triple wide receiver to the left. For Chang throws crossing pattern, throws it short. It was intended for Owens. Are they going to say that is a catch? I thought that ball hit the turf. Apparently not. Let's take a, a let's take a gander across the field at Russell Yamanoha. Defensive lineman Louis Funga being helped off the field. They're taking him into the locker room, presumably for X-rays. No official word yet on his condition, but he was in a lot of pain on the sideline. They have an ice pack on his left ankle, and uh, just getting a guy that size off the field who's in pain is looking to be a chore. Fourth down, short of the first down. Fourth and one. Matt McBriar into punt. First punt of the season. It's a beauty. Raymond back inside the 20. The ball goes out of bounds at approximately the 15. They will angle it. And they say it went out this at the 21. So it'll be first down at the 21-yard line. Matt McGuire, Jim, is a judge machine. He's a machine. They've got a machine on the sideline that fires the ball up in the air. Matt McGuire kicks the ball farther than the judge machine. How can it be out? How can it be out? Can't be out! Come on! Can't be out! How can it be out? It can't be serious! Can't be out! Not fair! No! Please! My seats are a mess. <laughs> Gum markers uh sticky sticky spray have you seen this spray that flies through the air and adheres to anything um, some kind of goo i don't know what it is either but it isn't pretty <laughs> so i'm a mess on the inside but my engine is clean because i use chevron with tecron <laughs> no gasoline cleans your engine better than chevron with tecron chevron working with kids is my calling and i enjoy it with optional slim dock. Work. Play. <laughs> we are back there. You see June Jones talking to uh, Tim Chang. Chang a little tentative, would you say? Coach? A little bit, but I'll tell you, Jim, right here, I think this is where the University of Hawaii really has a plus because I think Coach Jones does a great job with the quarterback on the sideline. Will Bumpus is flanked to the far side. Single running back. And that's Taylor. In motion is O'Neill. First down from the 20. For Eastern Illinois. Throw that is almost picked off by Hiram Peters at the 35 yard line. And then the ball still had some zip on it and Bumpus was in the area to try to make the catch. Second down and 10. This is a nice throw by Romo. He rips this ball right in there. Maybe ill-advised because Peter's got a hand on it, but he threw that ball with nice velocity. The one's El Hobson to the far side and Osborne to the near side. Second down and 10 from the 21. With the ball is Taylor out to the 30, very close to the first down. Romo is the is uh, has an advanced degree in press the digitation. And they're running right at Sapawanga that time, and he ran around the block, created a nice hole in there for Eastern Illinois, and we got third and third and a foot. Third and short. Andre Jones comes in as the fullback. Taylor. Here's the tailback. This is Taylor, and he has enough, has the wherewithal to keep his legs going, and he gets the first down. Andre Jones trying to block at his helmet ripped off, but he's okay. 
And that will be a first down for Eastern Illinois. It's the third first down of this game. This, this is a big play for the University of Hawaii. Just need to be physical against the run right here on third and one. Too much yards. I think uh, Coach Lempa is expecting the run defense to be much improved over a year ago. Ball is given on a delay to Taylor. Nothing develops. Pisa, P. Moisamore. The linebacker on the right side, a loss of two yards on the play. That will bring up second and 12. Pisa Tinoy Samoa is one of the best linebackers in the country. Here you're going to see him get his shoulders square, penetrate, and make a nice tackle in the backfield. Hawaii has had more success so far, Jim, with penetration by their linebackers, with blitzing by their linebackers as opposed to playing straight. Tinoy Samoa, partial qualifier. If he graduates, he'll get another year of eligibility. He's working on it. Ball back to the 30-yard line, second down, and 12, a long 12. The motion is Hobson. Romo looking. Quick pass. That seems complete. That was intended for Andre Raymond. Raymond had lined up. And he wanted to catch that ball in the around where the linebackers are just behind them and then start to work his magic. I like Romo's disposition so far. He made that throw a little behind the receiver. He smiles, goes back in the huddle. He seems to be unflappable. He seems to be able to get the ball off and against pressure. He seems to have a good disposition for a quarterback. You can see why he has been successful. Four of eight now for 31 yards. For Joe Romo. Romo rolling. Throw sideline pattern. That's incomplete. And we have a penalty flag. Penalty flag around the line of scrimmage, but near the sideline. And we'll see. Referee for tonight's game is Rich Cullen. And it's against Eastern Illinois. This will be declined. Illegal formation on the offense. It's man of the line of scrimmage. Clyde down is four. Tom Schofield comes in to punt as that penalty uh, was declined. It is fourth and 13. Mike Bass is in to receive the punt. Waiting for the snap. Low snap. Schofield gets it away. A wobbler that comes up and bounces on the 40. And tumbles to the 35. Inside the 35, the size on the 34-yard line. It will be first down for Hawaii on their own 34. Tonight's starting lineups, by the way, were brought to you by Enjoy Snaps. That's good stuff. So Hawaii three and out on its first possession. We'll see what kind of adjustments are made as Timmy Chang joins the fray. Coach Jones scripted the first several plays tonight, the first 10 or 20 plays, just to make sure he could control what was going on. Uh, to give Timmy the best chance to have a have successful offensive series. Four wide receivers. Piro Mitchell back with Timmy Chang. First down from the 34. This is Piro Mitchell. Mitchell trying to get to the outside, and he was tripped up by number 46, Alex Schmink. Schmink, 249-pound junior from Monticello, Illinois. Missed last season due to a back injury. Well, he's back now. You'll see Schmink uh, penetrate, come down the line of scrimmage, and catch Mitchell from behind. Nice job. No gain on the play. Second down and 10 from the 34-yard line. Triple wide receiver to the near side. In motion. Back toward the middle. There's Chad Owens. Ball is given to Piro Mitchell, and they bottle him up at the line of scrimmage. So Hawaii looking for some success in their offense, and they've yet to find it. Marcus Lorick there, the defensive lineman out of Terre Haute, Indiana, made the transition from the offense to the defense. Well, Hawaii's just getting, getting, getting whipped up front right now, Jim. 
Uh, the defense for the Panthers is doing a nice job, good penetration, playing square along the line of scrimmage. And Hawaii's going to have to block the run better as the night progresses. Oh, he comes out with three receivers. <laughs> Chang with Pun. Throws over the middle. That is incomplete. Colbert was there. And so was the ball. And Colbert, the senior, the leader of that receiving court, could not hold on. Nick Ricks was covering on the play. Seeing a lot of first game stuff here. Missed assignments, dropped balls, balls thrown uh, just a little bit off target. I think both teams will warm up, but right now, Eastern Illinois is doing a little better job on offense than Hawaii. 617 left the play in the first quarter, no score. Andre Raymond deep for Eastern Illinois. Matt McBriar will kick for the Warriors. Good team. Coming down, coming down. That lands at the 30, takes an Eastern Illinois bounce. All the way out to about the 38. So Eastern Illinois will start things in very good field position. No score with 6.08 left to play here in the first period. Matt McGuire, Jim, has already kicked more than he has in some complete games. I'm making big changes to my burgers. The jumbo patties are juicier, the bacon's thicker. Heck, I had to get bigger wrappers just to hold them. Now it's time to see what real people think. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Ronald McDonald. No way. Yep. All right. So what do you think? Delicious. Told you. Now my burgers are so good, even Ronald McDonald likes them. Let's take a look at the Queen's Medical Injury Report, sponsored by the Queen's Medical Center Hawaii's leader in orthopedic surgery and sports medicine. You can see this injury update. Eastern Illinois playing very close to the vest. No injuries reported. And Hawaii, there's the roster. Chang, Peters, Manuma, Labor. And now Louis Funga. First down from the 39-yard line for Eastern Illinois. They come out in the run-and-shoot offense. Romo looks right, throws. That's complete to Raymond. And Raymond is bumped out of bounds at the 46 by Kevin Milhouse. Good gain on the play, close to seven yards. That'll just bring up second and three. Just a quick pass, quick drop, look the defender off and come back to the, the quick stop route. Milhouse right there to make the play. One thing in the Bob Spoo offense, it's a very thick playbook. Many different formations, many different emphases. Second down and three. Jones in motion. Ball is given to Raymond. Trying to get around the corner. Raymond bumps his way out of bounds. Coming up to challenge him was Milhouse. Raymond able to glance off Milhouse and get very close to the first down. We'll see now. Now, no, now they say he stepped out on the 46. You're seeing, Jim, two divergent uh, philosophies of offense, as you mentioned. Hawaii's on offense is very few things that they do, and they do them over and over and over and over again. They beat you with execution. Eastern Illinois has everything in their playbook, every formation, and they try to beat you with some deception and execution. So here's another third down play for Eastern Illinois. Third down and three from the 46. Joe Romo, three wide receivers to the right. Throws, that's complete, and wide open with Bumpus. And Bump is still on his feet over midfield. Down he goes at the 49. So Abraham Ilamimian finally corralled him. Well, they but just, he was open. He was because they had Hawaii outnumbered to the outside. Hawaii was up. Had a lot of people coming off the edge. And as you'll see, uh, they've got Hawaii outnumbered three to two underneath out here. Eight yards. Hawaii brought people inside. Eight yard gain and a first down. O'Neill and Raymond are flanked to the far side. Osborne to the near side. Romo is now 6 for 10 for 46 yards. First down. And he gives that ball to Taylor. Taylor probes the secondary. Gets inside the 45 all the way to the 41-yard line. Houston Allen, number 93, just into the game. And Isaac Sopoanga 
Number 97 there to convert to him. Kevin Lempa is thinking that's too many yards on a simple running play on first down in your own territory. Your defensive front needs to stiffen right here and make it tough to run the ball against them. Well, Anui Correa comes in as a defensive end. Houston Alla slides over to the tackle. A quick pass to Raymond. Turns the corner and out of bounds he goes for the first down inside the 35-yard line all the way to the 33. So Hawaii trying to make some changes on that defensive front. They're getting moved around. Well, I just think uh, Eastern Illinois right now, Jim, Bob Spoo and his staff are doing a nice job of changing things up. They run, they run power football, they get the ball outside throwing it, and Romo's doing a terrific job of operating their offense at this point. Eight-yard gain in a first down. They come out in the run and shoot formation. Ball just outside the 33 of Hawaii. Quick pass again. That's complete to Hobson. And Hobson inside the 25 to the 24. And when you look at this offense, this is what Hawaii usually does to opponents. Yes, it is. And I think that, that Romo is just executing very well. They've got the run and the pass. And I think that uh, certainly Hawaii needs to make some adjustments as they move the ball down the field. Because right now, certainly they're off balance. They are going to measure for the first down. As you look at number 81, Dewan Zell Hobson, a junior out of Caseyville, Illinois. And this is just testimony, Jim, to how hard it is to win in college football. A Division I AA team does not have near as many scholarships as Hawaii. A nice-looking football team that's executing very well. And just enough for ball kind of rolled around a little bit. <laughs> they'll, give him, they'll give him the first down. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Or will they? I don't think they will. They're no, no. Say, they respotted it. They're going to say it's a half an inch. That is close. That'll bring up second down. In a minuscule distance. That's Mr. Wilson. That ball. <laughs> Isn't that what they called him in Castaway? Was it? Mr. Wilson. Mr. But, Wilson. He was a volleyball. He was a volleyball. Yeah. That's Mr. Wilson's cousin. <laughs> Second down, very short distance for the first down. Taylor goes in motion. Romo gives the ball to the fullback, Jones. And Jones inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. 4-16 left to play here in the first period. This is a short one. Nice job here by Eastern Illinois offensive line coming off the ball, giving Jones a place to run. First down at the 19 of Hawaii. O'Neill and Bumpus are to the far side. High formation, Taylor the tailback, Jones the fullback. Joe Romo will change the play. Romo looking. Loops one potential tackler, but then he runs out of space as the green shirt surround him and he loses his balance. Matt Wright really put the pressure on him. This is a good example for the fans, Jim, of he could not throw this ball away as you can when you move to the outside because he hadn't escaped the tackle box. So he has to keep the ball and put it up inside or throw it away out of the end zone. He could not throw it away intentionally where it would have been intentional grounding. Lanui Correa with the first pressure. So he goes down at the 24. Loss on the play of five. Second down and 15. Raymond in motion. Quick pass to Raymond. One on one. Raymond goes down the side. Skips out of bounds at the 19 yard line. Got away from Bonafo. The Panthers doing a nice job of, of getting Raymond involved uh, in their pass game. Uh, he's a very elusive runner. And getting him in motion and getting him outside and getting him involved in the passing game is something they really like to do. And it's difficult on the defense because the matchups are not favorable for Hawaii or whoever else they're playing. Big third down play here for Eastern Illinois. Third down and 10. Double tight end alignment. Jones, the single back. 
Romo, three-step drop, pump fakes, pump fakes, now throws for the end zone. Off the hands of the intended receiver, Bumpus. And Bumpus had a touchdown. Romo hit him perfectly. He could not hold on. University of Hawaii dodges a bullet here. Bumpus is free to the post. The ball hits him right between the eight and the zero. He's got to catch the ball, Jim, with his hands. You saw him let the ball get into his pads. You've got to catch that ball with your hands as a, as a receiver. So Steve Kuhn comes in. He's a true freshman. This is his first college field goal. Ball is placed on the 26. 36-yarder struggling, and that is not good. Away he dodges two bullets. Eastern Illinois moves the ball. Eastern Illinois, by deception, by speed, by execution, gets all the way down inside the 20, but they are unable to put anything on the scoreboard. And now Hawaii turns it around, and they have it offensively with two minutes and 54 seconds left in the first period. Hawaii got good pressure up the middle on that field goal attempt. So Hawaii comes out with Timmy Chang at quarterback, and back with him now is Mike Bass, 5'6", sophomore from Corona, California. Went to Centennial High School in Corona. Tim Chang, first down from the 20. Chang, quick pass. That is complete to Colbert, but Colbert is swallowed up immediately. Cannot get any running room. And we may have lost a couple of yards on the floor. First downs in this game, Jim, are 6 to 0 at this point, uh, almost at the end of the first quarter. Loss of two. Back to the 18. Let's watch Eastern here defend this quick pass. Number 15 playing a combination coverage on the outside gets to him and causes him to lose his balance. That was Vince Lewis. The corner on the left side. Second down and 12 from the 18. Timmy Chang with time now running out of it. He'll run and he has space to run. He has the first down all the way out to the 45-yard line. Oh, the crowd loves that. They love that. That's one thing they have not seen from Timmy Chang since he started playing here, tucking it and run. Well, and that's still the most devastating play in football, as you see here, Jim, but everybody's covering. They don't expect him to run. He pulls it down. It's the longest run in the game. That's a very devastating play for a defense. 25-yard jaunt by Timmy Chang. He needs All the way to, out just short of the 45. He needs to tuck that ball away. Uh, he can't have that ball out away from his body like that. The coach would go crazy. Holy cow. <laughs> First down for Hawaii. Triple wide receiver to the right side. First down at the 40. We'll call it the 44. Timmy Chang backing up. Now throws over the middle. That's intercepted. That is picked off by David Bentley. And Bentley is able to carry that ball all the way down to the 30-yard line. So Timmy Chang goes for 25 yards on the first down and then gives up his 26th career interception, his first of the season. 21-yard interception return. Let's take a look at this. David Bentley in 55 in the middle, just sitting right there in the zone defense. And Timmy does not see him, throws the ball right to him. See another angle here. You see it from the quarterback's vantage point. Just too much air under that ball. And it could be. It could be the finger. I mean, we're not trying to diagnose from this distance away, but it just could be. First down from the 30. Romo back to pass. Romo in trouble. Spins away. Now throws over the middle. Back. Incomplete. Bumpus. Romo's going to have a talk with Mr. Bumpus. He was open again in the secondary, proving very elusive is Romo. Romo does a terrific job here of getting this ball a little bit behind the receiver, but a receiver's got to catch that. So far, receivers for both teams not having a great night. Hiram Peters covering on the play. Second down and 10 from the Hawaii 30-yard line. O'Neal to the far side. Osborne to the near side along with Raymond. And J.R. Taylor, the single setback. They give it to Raymond again. 
Well, now Bonafa can't get to him, and Raymond able to spin inside the 20-yard line where Samu Seba comes inside out all the way from his defensive lineman position and makes the tackle in the secondary. Just a nice job of effort by Samu Seba. He's rushing the passer, and you see him right here coming outside to be in on the tackle on the sideline. Terrific job by Lance Samu Seba. 139 left to play in the first period. O'Neill flanked to the far side. Bumpus inside of O'Neill. First down at the Hawaii 20, just inside the 20. Romo fakes the play action, steps up, gets out of trouble. Now throws long for the end zone. That ball will be incomplete. Oh, it should have been intercepted. Hiram Peters was back there along with Milhouse, and they got tangled up with each other. The intended receiver, Bumpus, was out of the play. There you see the pressure. He's got to catch it. Romo showing great agility and great pocket presence for Eastern Illinois. Romo is now 10 for 18, 79 yards in passing. Second down, just inside the Hawaii 20. A delay. This is Taylor with running room. Gets a block. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Oh, he shredded the Hawaii defense. Excellent blocking by that offensive line. And then Taylor did the rest. Just going to see he's going to run off tackle. Chris Jackson is playing too high. Linebacker filled the play too high. Nice job by Taylor. And Taylor second in the Ohio Valley Conference in rushing. Last season, he averaged 177 yards a game. In to try the point after is Steve Kuhn. That kick is not good. So Kuhn has missed the field goal, and he now has missed an extra point. Four plays, 30 yards, 45 seconds a lap time. Watch the blocking. Just excellent job by the front of the Panthers. University of Hawaii pinned, the, pinned the inside linebacker, pinned Chris Brown. Sapawanga got turned. Jackson got turned out. And there's a huge cavity in the defense. A lot of hand fighting by the defense. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoha. Yeah, Jim, a double shot of bad news for the Hawaii defense. They gave up that touchdown right there to Eastern Illinois. Also, the word on defensive lineman Louis Funga is a fractured left ankle. Obviously, he's out of the rest of tonight's ball game. That is bad news for Hawaii. Louis Funga, who had that uh, redshirt year last year, I mean, he had two surgeries, and now he suffers the broken ankle. An amazing run of bad luck for Louis Funga. Jim, I'm impressed with J.R. Taylor. He's 221 pounds. He gets his shoulders turned up the field, and he is he's an outstanding running back. Steve Kuhn will kick off for Eastern Illinois. They lead 6 to nothing with 112 left to play in the first period. Michael Brewster, the transfer from the University of Tennessee, number 6, deep for Hawaii. Standing back inside the five-yard line, and now we have an official timeout. Delay of, a delay of game has been called against the uh, kicking team. And, I, and Kuhn is just, this is uh, freshman phobia for Mr. Kuhn. Well, he just missed an extra point, Mr. Kuhn. <laughs> he's having a bad day, and he's a freshman, and here he is in Honolulu, you know, and, and uh, he's from Arlington Heights, Illinois, and holy cow. So here we go. Here comes Kuhn. Kicks it a line drive, kick booster. Kicks it at the seven, drops it, picks it up, and here he comes. Out over the 25 to the 27, perhaps the 28-yard line. We'll see where they mark it. First down for Hawaii. Jacob Maurer made the stop on the special team for Eastern Illinois. 15-yard return on that play by Brewster. 
So Hawaii has not really lived up to the hype of the offense, to the hype of the run and shoot. You know, they're coming off one of those celebrated games, 72 points put up against BYU. Yeah, this stark is, contrast tonight. This is a different team, though. This is a different team, and it's just going to take them a while to get familiar with each other. First down from the 28. Throw up the sideline, wide open is Herbert. We're looking at touchdown, the 30. Herbert tripped up at the 25-yard line. Herbert was running joyously in a meadow when he caught that ball. Forty-eight yard pass play. Timmy Chang to Clifton Herbert. Chang looks off the free safety. And it must be a coverage bust. And Herbert does a nice job of hanging on to the football. Vince Lewis was beat. And you'd have to think that Lewis was responsible deep and, and uh, busted the coverage. So that moves the ball all the way to the 27 yard line of Eastern Illinois. And one of the Eastern Illinois players is down. That's Fred Miller, the linebacker, 6'1", junior out of Fort Lauderdale. And he is in a bit of discomfort, to say the least. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoa. Yeah, Jim, on the back of the quarterback Timmy, Timmy Chang's helmet, there's a J and a S tape on the back of his helmet. That is in honor of a University of Hawaii recruit who was killed in an automobile crash in the offseason, John Ciofelli. The, uh, the, uh, he was a defensive player. Both Chang and Ciofelli, both out of St. Louis High School in Honolulu, and that's a little tribute to a fallen teammate on the back of the helmet of Timmy Chang. Timmy Chang now, three for seven, 56 yards, and one interception. 40-yard pass play to Herbert. That moves the ball to the 28-yard line of Eastern Illinois. Concern for Fred Miller from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Miller had 117 tackles last year. His best game was 17 tackles against Murray State. So hopefully that injury is not serious. Hawaii has suffered a very serious injury to Louis Funga. First down from the 28 of Eastern Illinois. In motion is Herbert. Chang with P-Road Mitchell back there with him. Triple wide receiver to the left. Chang looking right. Throws. That is incomplete. Out in front was Neil Gossett. Gossett unable to hold on. That ball thrown just a bit too long. But Gossett was open. It will be interesting to see how Eastern Illinois handles the loss of Miller. Up, he is out. one of their yeah. outstanding players. Yeah. Yeah. Right there, right there. There you see the chief, Billy Fehoke. Let's watch here to see Miller. He's just trying to stop. Tim Chang now looking left, throws. That is complete to Herbert. Herbert inside the 20, and he's bumped out of bounds at the 18-yard line. So that will bring up a big third down play. Gain on the play, uh, close to six yards. It'll be third down, a long four. And they will place the ball just inside the 18-yard line. Eastern Illinois is changing up their coverage. They're going to man-to-man, -to, -man, to zone. Uh, maximum rush, maximum drop. Let's see what they do here on third and medium. Come out in the run and shoot. Four wide receivers. Timmy Chang waiting. Chang steps up, throws over the middle. That is almost picked off, almost intercepted. He threw that into coverage. Kevin Anderson, the free safety able to get into the zone. It was intended for Justin Colbert. But there was a lot of traffic down near that end zone. Well, and you're going to see here, Jim, that it's the, it's the man from the back side that's going to come in away from Chang's vision to nearly intercept the football. Justin Ayat out of the hold of Sean Withy Allen. This will be a 34-yard field goal. Angle from the left. Ayat was 12 for 29 in field goals last year. There's the kick. It is long enough. It is good. Hawaii gets on the scoreboard with 16 seconds left to play in the first period. Eastern Illinois leads now 6 to 3. That was a better job by Tim Chang, Jim, and I think it just takes 
it, it, football takes practice. And Timmy's been out for a long time, and he really hasn't practiced that much. And, and he's going to have some growing pains getting going because this game is, is a game that takes a lot of different looks, and, and a game is much different than the practice aspect of it. Verizon Hoy will honor a player from each team in tonight's game as it probably continues its support of the University of Hawaii General Scholarship Fund. Verizon Hawaii, how to get life done. Five plays, 55 yards, 56 seconds in a lapse time. Big play. 40-yard pass play from Timmy Chang to Herbert Clifton Herbert. But Hawaii unable to punch it into the end zone. They settled for a 34-yard field goal by Justin Nayat. Nayat will pick off. Raymond will be deep for Eastern Illinois. is Raymond two yards deep will return it. Raymond gets swallowed up at the 15 yard line. Big play. Chad Kapanui out of Roosevelt High School. One of the three amigos on this team all named Chad from Roosevelt. 15 yard return. Russell Yamanoha. Yeah, Jim, I just talked to Fred Miller, the safety for Eastern Illinois. He said it's just a bruised shin. They taped it up, he went, you know, walked it off, and he's going to get back out there. Well, that's good news that that was not a serious injury. You hate any kind of serious injuries in this game. Tape an aspirin on it, get back in there. Ball at the 16, first down for Eastern Illinois. Joe Romo has really played a magnificent first quarter. Triple wide receiver now, and coming across the defense and everybody starts pointing at each other. Nick Eller may have moved for Eastern Illinois. And it's the legal procedure, false start. Five yard penalty moves the ball back to the 11. J.R. Taylor reports for duty in that backfield now for the Panthers. Raymond and O'Neill are wide to the near side. Romo pump fakes, now looks right, in trouble, now throws, and it's incomplete. Oh, he really starting to put more and more pressure on Romo. Romo has handled it very well, except that Jimmy's handling that ball back there and all that traffic, and there's the opportunity for that ball sometime here soon to be stripped out of his hands before he can throw it and be on the ground. The quarterback has to really be conscious of people around him, and he's been fortunate to be able to get him off, but that's, that, that may not be the case as the game progresses. Remember, he's had a touchdown drop in the end zone. He's 10 for 19, 79 yards in passing. He's been able to put the ball where he wants to on most occasions. Back to pass. No, a handoff. Handoff to Taylor, and Taylor gets swallowed up. So Taylor, going for only about a two-yard gain from the 11 to about the 13. Lautenui Correa was there to stop him. That's the end of the first period. Eastern Illinois 6, the Warriors of Hawaii 3. More to come. Papa John's Pizza Hawaii uses the finest ingredients to make your pizza hot, fresh, and tasty. With 14 locations on Oahu, there's a Papa John's near you. So when it's time for pizza for your family and friends, call your local Papa John's Pizza Hawaii. Hey Hawaii, get Papa's Luau. Two large pizzas with two toppings, carry out or delivery for only $19.99. Just call 979-PAPA. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's Hawaii. Let's take a look at tonight's Fantastic Sam's Fantastic Fan. Fantastic Sam's Hawaii, it's got to be the hair, a proud supporter of University of Hawaii Athletics. Eastern Illinois still huddled up on the sidelines as we're getting ready to start the second period. Eastern Illinois leading 6-3. 
excellent touchdown run by J.R. Taylor. She says, oh, stop. But she wants the camera. Oh, stop it. Come on. One more. <laughs> Eastern Illinois averages 19 passes a quarter, or, or per game, excuse me, and they had 19 passes in the first quarter. Romo to throw again, does so, that's picked off. With it is Peters. Peters trying to get to the end zone. He does! Great job by Peters. He had one in his hands earlier. Nice job of breaking on the football. Rich Miano will be really happy with this. You see Peters in center field. Breaks on the football. Catches the ball at its highest point and sticks it in the end zone. Nice job of Romo trying to get over there and make the play. That was intended for Devin O'Neill. Ayat in the tribe, the point after. He was 54 for 57 in PAT's last season. But the Alvin places it, the kick is drilled, and it is good. This is just a great job by Peters. Again, just looking at the quarterback's eyes, reacting to the football, catch the ball at its highest point, tuck it away secure the football, stick it in the end zone, run north and south, all that good stuff that Rich Miano has been teaching. Touchdown, Hawaii. Just into the second period. Come on, baby. Hawaii leading 10-6. Central Pacific Bank sponsors the Loyalty Award by donating $100 to the Central Pacific Bank Endowed Scholarship Fund for every touchdown that the University of Hawaii scores. Central Pacific Bank, fiercely loyal banking. So Peters, a 28-yard interception, touchdown run, the first touchdown of the year for Hawaii, and it comes from the defense. Hawaii leading for the first time in this game. And what the defense has to do as much as anything is take the ball away, Jim. Great defenses take the ball away from the opposing offense, and Hawaii's done that here and, and leads in the football game. Ayat kicks off. Andre Raymond, five yards deep. He will not return it. Last year, Ayat had trouble with balls going out of bounds, yes. kicking to the corner, but he's uh, drilled him tonight into the end zone. Well, he doesn't have great hang time, but he's getting the ball deep in the end zone, and you can... You can, if you can get it in the end zone, you don't have to worry as much about hang time. Here comes Tony Romo. I bet he get kid, gets kidded a lot about that name. Oh, of course. Sure, of course. Bob Spoo coached at Purdue for a long time. Was on many great stabs at Purdue. First down and ten for Eastern Illinois. Jones in motion, number 48. Keeping the ball is Romo. Now throws. That is complete to O'Neill at the 31-yard line, and he's rolled down by Milhouse. Now, what you see from Kevin Jackson there as he rushes a quarterback, Jim, he needs to idle down a little bit in order to be able to make that play in the open field because he has to make that play. And he's going so fast that he can't make it, and he just needs to come to balance just a little bit as that quarterback escapes the pocket and be able to make a play. 12-yard pickup for the first down. The ball at the 32-yard line. High formation. Ball is given and breaking into the secondary is Taylor. Taylor all the way to midfield. Very simple play. And good dividends. 18 yards. There's too many creases in the front at this point. Sean Butts finally halted his progress at midfield. Here comes Eastern Illinois. They trail in this game 10 to 6. O'Neill is flanked to the near side. Andre Raymond is now the tailback, number five. Romo gives it to Raymond. And Raymond trying to get outside and stumbles at midfield. 
Good job by Pisa Tinoy Samoa and also uh, by Kevin Jackson who arrived first. There you see Louis Funga in a light cast with crutches. Funga, no doubt the disappointment etched all over him. Not only will he miss this game, but he will miss who knows how many more. Just one of the real tough things about football, one of the things you hate about it is the injury factor. It's such a physical game. You guys work so hard. Second down and 10 from midfield. Romo looking. Throws. That's hit into the air incomplete. He knows Samoa got a hand on it. It was intended for Andre Raymond. They want to isolate Raymond. Get him in that secondary and have him work his magic. You'll see Raymond here. He is the inside man. He comes to the post. Tinoi Samoa is right in the throwing lane. Great job by the linebacker of dropping into the throwing lane, reading the quarterback's eyes, breaking on the ball. O'Neill is flanked to the far side and to the near side. Comes Osborne. Alfred Osborne. From the shotgun, Romo with time. Looking to the sidelines now. Now throws on the run. That is complete to the tight end. Number 88, Nick Eller. Eller stumbled for that ball, but he was clear. And again, credit Romo with his vision downfield. What a great job by Romo here of escaping up in the pocket and laying the ball down the field to the tight end. You see him buying time for himself, buying space from the Hawaii defenders. Throws a perfect ball to Eller. First down for Eastern Illinois. Ball is now at the Warrior 16-yard line. Taylor, Taylor at the 10. Taylor headbutts his way all the way to about the seven-yard line. So credit Eastern Illinois. They're scored upon on that 28-yard interception return by Peters, but they come right back. The front of Eastern Illinois doing a nice job of blocking Hawaii's defensive front. Too many creases in the running game. When you get down there, you shouldn't be able to make eight yards on first down. Bumpus is flanked for the far side. Taylor in the eye formation. Kenio in front of him, just into the game, number 44. Short drop. He wants the touchdown. It is caught. Touchdown, Bumpus in the corner. They beat Illuminium. I'll tell you, that shows nice confidence by Bob Spoo uh, going back to Bumpus. Going back to Bumpus after he's had several drops, Bob Spoo wanted him to have confidence. He's an important element of their offense. You see him making the nice catch uh, over Elamimian. Excellent loft on the ball. It was perfect in the end zone. Kuhn is now in the try the extra point. Remember, he's had his troubles. Kick is up. And this one is perfect. So teeter-tottering back into the lead, the Panthers of Eastern Illinois. They now lead it 13 to 10. 12.07 left to play in the second period. Well, he's really taken us to new levels. He's brought customer service to a whole new level. I think we were somewhere in here. I think he sort of raised the bar. Somewhere in there, between there. You know what he's all about? He's all about this, not about that. What's that going to get you? Oh, he deserves this award. There's no doubt about it. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Well, you know, you can tell when a bank really wants your business by the way they relate to you. Mike runs a tight ship. He really understands tourism and why people come to Maui. Even though he's based in Kahului, Kevin brings the bank to me wherever and whenever I need it. Gang, let's get everybody familiar with your mask and snorkel. It's rewarding for me. I actually feel like I'm part of Mike's business. Some banks act like they're doing you a favor. But you know, with Citibank, I feel like they're really working for me. Citibank, it's worth it to switch. Relationship banking is what it's all about. Eastern Illinois, seven plays, 88 yards, two minutes and 44 seconds of elapsed time and you were right going back to Bumpus in the deep corner of the end zone that ball was lofted perfectly yeah nice job by Bob Spoo of showing confidence in the receiver he has to have this season that has, 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 has had a couple of drops 
12.07 left to play in the first half. Kuhn will kick off Michael Brewster, deep 5-6. Redshirt sophomore out of Houston. Kuhn kicks it off. Here comes Brewster coming up, taking it on the 10. Brewster trying to turn the corner. He's at the 40. Midfield. 40. 35. Out of bounds at the 30-yard line of Eastern Illinois. Brewster is the transfer from Tennessee. Aaron Sanders may have saved the touch, a touchdown, but what speed we see here. Brewster takes it outside. He's the transfer from Tennessee that really was impressive last year in scout work. Here you see him almost taking it all the way. As we said in the open gym, special teams and the tackling in special teams is a key element here in a first game. 60 yard return by Brewster. So all of a sudden, he has made a name for himself in return. Ball just outside the 30 yard line. Chad Owens in motion. Chang looking. Lost it. That is complete. Iwawa. Inside the 20, inside the 15, he really takes a hit at about the 11. But he holds on. Fred Miller finally ripped him out of bounds. A 17-yard gain. Nate Ilawa from Stafford, Virginia. A just, redshirt freshman. Just a freshman doing a nice job of hauling that ball in and then just turning on the Jets. That's a first down inside. The 15 at the 13-yard line. So Hawaii trying to answer back, trying to recapture the lead. Gossett is to the far side. Colbert to the near side. The motion is Ilawa. And Chain Kajioka moves on that offensive line, number 77. That'll cost Hawaii five. Ball start. Interesting story on Kajioka when he, on the offense, five when yards, he reported down is to Hawaii. He was nearly 400 pounds. But he, the coaches looked at him and said he still had good feet. Now he is about 300 pounds. He has really worked. And he's worked his way into that starting lineup. Jason Wielden now has come in at quarterback. Wilden on the pitch to Bass. Bass may just get back to the original line of scrimmage, and we'll see as he ran out of out of uh, room. But Jason Wilden has come in now for Tim Chang. At least he came in for that one play. 6'1 junior out of Orange, California, Saddleback Community College. He was the Orange County Player of the Year at Orange Lutheran High School in the year 2000. But his appearance now is brief as Tim Chang comes back into the game. He comes in to run the option, Jim. They can get away with that a couple weeks, and then at, that, at some point you're not going to be able to get away with that, but right now you can. But to make one play, one play can make a difference in a ball game. Ilawa in motion. Second down and 10. Ball from the 13. Timmy Chang falls over the middle. Touchdown! Nate Ilawa. That's one of those plays that Eastern Illinois coaches in the press box can't wait to see the replay of that. How in the world did he get that open? Somebody busted the coverage. Oh, he caught that ball in a vacant lot. That's right. Somebody blew a fuse. That happens. 20, the 26 career touchdown throw by Timmy Chang. First touchdown reception by Ilawa. Yeah, for the point after. And it is good. So Hawaii has two touchdowns. One, one largely by special teams with a kickoff return. The other by the defense, supported by the offense. And uh, they're back on time. McDonald's of Hawaii and try our new big grilled hot dog garnished with the works and served on a fresh hearty bun. 
or the tin roof waffle cone sundae, topped with hot fudge, nuts, marshmallows, and whipped cream. Isn't there something else you'd rather be doing? drive. Three plays, 30 yards. That followed uh, a kickoff return of 60 yards by Michael Brewster. And Timmy Chang throws it into the end zone. 13-yard touchdown pass to Nate Ilawa. Well, they now leading 17-13. Kickoff goes to Raymond. Raymond with the running room lookout. Raymond up the sideline. And finally, Ayat, who kicked off. Bumps him out of bounds at the 45-yard line. This game, all of a sudden, coach, has opened up. Well, special, special teams plays, Jim, again, yeah, open field tackling when teams haven't scrimmaged is a very difficult thing. Any kickoff is a red flag in the first game if you haven't done much scrimmaging. All right, we're, right, we're going to see how Nate gets open right here. He gets... He gets a pick and comes back down inside and just frees up, and they have two men cover outside and on Herbert and touchdown. First down for Eastern Illinois at the 44-yard line. Tony Romo back to third. Romo sideline pattern. That's complete for Raymond at midfield. Now they say just inside Hawaii territory. Good gain on the play of seven yards. Second down and three. Another completion for Tony Romo. Tony Romo is another one of those stories. Jim did not have a full scholarship to Eastern Illinois, had no Division I scholarships. Holy cow, look at this guy play. I mean, so everybody blew that one, just like uh, Ashley Lalee. There's a lot of football players out there. Judgment and evaluation is the most important thing in recruiting. Second and three from the 49-yard line. These two teams now going up and down the field against each other. Romo with Jones. And Taylor behind him. This is Taylor probing that secondary. Nate Brown finally stopped his progress on top. And getting up from the bottom of the pile, Nui Correa. Very close to the, uh, to the first down. It will be third down and inches for Eastern Illinois. Those guys have got better eyes than, any, than I have. I mean, you'd have to measure that, wouldn't you? It is close. If I were Eastern Illinois, I'd ask them to measure that one. Here come the Panthers. Third down in inches. Keeping the ball and hit from behind and back is Romo. Hiram Peters came in from the blind side. Romo was trying to work his prestidigitation again. An excellent fake. Had the time to throw, was looking downfield. But here comes Peters. Well, this is one of those plays. They're going to throw the play-action pass on third down, come back and pick it up with a quarterback sneak on fourth down, and, and uh, they get sacked. They bring a the defensive back off the backside. Tom Schofield to punt now for Eastern Illinois. Remember what you were saying about measuring? Yes. Schofield shanks this. That one goes out of bounds uh, just inside the 30-yard line. Hawaii leading 17 to 13 with 9.26 left to play in the first half. Jim Leahy along with Dick Tomer. That's one of those plays, Jim, I think as Bob Spoo goes back and looks at this tape, he's going to wish they had had that measured because... I believe they would have had a chance to, to get the nod there, and it, it gives them a little more time and so on, but certainly that was a big play for Hawaii to make that play on, on third and an inch. Peters has been a big factor in this game thus far. Neil Gossett to the far side, and Colbert to the near side as the wide receivers. Mike Bass back there with Timmy Chang, first down from the 28-yard line. This is Bass. Uh, stumbles as he gets across the 30 to about the 32-yard line. 
Gain on the play of three. That'll bring up second down and seven. Hawaii leading here 17 to 13. Triple wide receiver comes out now to the near side. Owens, Ilawa, and Colbert. Ilawa goes in motion. Hero Mitchell now back with uh, Timmy Chang. Chang, dancing, dancing, throws. That is complete to Owens coming back for the ball. Making the catch close to the first down. When he came back and made that catch, he took away the possibility of the first down. Nice job by Chad Owens of catching the ball up high, making the play. Hawaii needs to get him the ball where he still has time to get his shoulder square and become a runner because that's his magic. He's a great runner. Jason Wilden now has come back into the game at quarterback on third down short yardage. Let's see if we see the option, Jim. We're going under the center. We're going to see speed option. Third down, less than a yard. P. Rowe Mitchell, the single setback. Wilden. Over the 40 to the 41. That's enough for the first down, and you're exactly right. They did run that option. Well, that's a nice compliment, and I think, as I as I said, I think that they can get away with that for a week. Maybe, although BYU obviously will be will be wise to that. They may have something else off of the option for the next game, but that's a, certainly a good adjustment for this game with the concern about Timmy Chang's hand. So Timmy Chang back in the game here. He has answered questions about his, his hand. 13-yard touchdown pass to Ilawa. In motion is Chad Owens. Owens can work his magic in that secondary if he makes a reception in space. Chang looking long up the sideline. Throwing long for Colbert. Colbert has it inside the 20. The 10. Touchdown. Beautiful throw. Beautiful throw, right on the money. It's a big time throw. 59-yard touchdown pass from Timmy Chang to Justin Colbert, the senior receiver. Excellent throw and catch, Jim, but let's credit the offensive line. That's a tremendous job by the Hawaii offensive line. There was absolutely no pressure, nobody with a hand up, nobody with in, the, in Timmy Chang's face. And nice job by the entire unit and just feet away, just inches or feet away from making a play in the secondary was Eastern Illinois. Roosevelt Williams and Kevin Anderson collided. Anderson and that, Williams. And that freed up Colbert. They did. They did. They collided. Thunder. And no point after. And that could be very interesting as this game goes along. 23 now for Hawaii and 13 for Eastern Illinois. We continue from Aloha Stadium. Lima Kukua means helping hands. And at 7-Eleven, it means an exciting new way to raise funds for your team, halal, school, or community organization. Sell the Lima Kukua coupon book to your family and friends for the suggested price of just $5, and they receive over $20 in free and discounted offers from 7-Eleven and Coca-Cola. This great fundraiser gets your group at least $2.25 for every coupon book you sell. So call 944-2711 for the Lima Kukua coupon book from 7-Eleven. Just a bit of magic. Hawaii. Boy, scoring drive, 71 yards in four plays, two minutes of last time. Colbert, 59-yard TD reception, his fourth career touchdown reception. Timmy Chang is 27th touchdown pass. Kicking off is Ayat. Waiting for it is Raymond at the bar. Raymond is dangerous. Raymond gets hit, down he goes at about the 24-yard line. 
Big Island Candies. Best of luck to all Rainbow Warrior athletes and coaches from everyone at Big Island Candies in Hilo. Home of the famous chocolate dipped shortbread cookie as well as the brand new Bien Vivente cookies made with olive oil. Will Big Island Cookies send us cookies again this yes, year? Yes, they Jim, will. Think? Yes, they will. They are good. God, they're good. Cookies. They're so good. Yeah, but a little begging is allowed. Hold of course. Cow. That's okay. First and ten. Quick pass. This is Raymond. Tripped up, but he still stays on his feet. Gets over the 30 to about the 31. Good second effort by Raymond. Eastern Illinois trying to answer back. Seven-yard gain. Second down and three. That's one thing that Eastern Illinois has been able to do throughout this game. They have had very productive first down yardage. They, they doubled Hawaii in first down. They have 12 first downs. Hawaii has six. And so they've just they've stalled out when they've gotten in some field position. But they've done a nice job of maintaining possession of the ball and moving the ball. They just need to score. Second down, a long two. In motion is Andre Jones. Ball is given on the delay to Taylor. Taylor trying to turn the corner. And Taylor unable to get out of the grasp of Kevin Milhouse. And Pisa Tinoy Samoa really put the pressure on him. He was the first one to him. Loss on the play of two yards. This is a this is a conventional counter play. Here comes Taylor with the football. You see Tinoy Samoa pursuing forcing him outside and Milhouse makes a nice shoestring tackle as he tries to turn the corner. 601 left the play in the first half. Good look at Tinoy Samoa. In motion it's Raymond. Remember, he is dangerous. Romo pump fakes, gives it to Raymond on a sweep to the near side with all kinds of running room. The 40, midfield, and out of bounds in Rainbow Territory. That play worked to perfection. That's the old Statue of Liberty play, Jim. Just the Statue of Liberty. They fake the pass. A little bit of reverse. Watch Raymond. He comes out this side. Statue of Liberty. Fake the pass. Run the reverse. Plenty of running room. Sean Butts. And Butts knocks him out of bounds. Sean Butts did that. Butted him out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Bumpus to the far side, along with O'Neill. And the trio joined over there by Hobson. In motion is Hobson. First down from the 46 of Hawaii. Ball is kept by Romo. Romo trying to get by Latinui Correa. He does so. And finally, down he goes at the 40-yard line. Lance Samu 7, Matt Wright, Ra Wright number 44, and Samu 7, number 92, six-yard game. Tony Romo, he is really good back in the secondary. Right here, they say when there's a defender there, just stop, stop, and then make the defender redirect, and that's exactly what he did. Second down and four for Eastern Illinois. They've been up and down this field. Ball just outside the Warrior 40-yard line. Jones in motion. Long count. A delayed handoff to Taylor. Taylor, great blocking. 30. Taylor to the 21-yard line. Excellent blocking that time by Eastern Illinois. And he went right behind the blocks for a 19-yard game. I think the thing that the Hawaii defense is going to be most concerned about in the second half of this football game, Jim, is stopping the running game, you know, with the front seven because there are too many cracks in, in, in the front at this point. John Butts able to halt his progress at the 21. Hawaii leading 23 to 13. Bumpus, who has a touchdown catch to the far side against Illuminium. Triple wide receiver to the near side. Quick pass. That is Raymond. Stumbles to the 20. Pisa Tinoy Samoa, number 10. There to make the stop. Tinoy Samoa, 6-0. He is a senior, but you have to put an asterisk by that. He's from Vista, California. Remember, he was a partial qualifier, and the possibility of him graduating is a distinct possibility. And if so, he will get an extra year. That was a nice job by... Pisa just engaging a blocker, keeping the blocker in front of him, staying square, and then getting rid of him and coming off to make the tackle. Good control of 
of he could go to either gap that he was that he was trying to play. Timeout being called by Eastern Illinois with three minutes and 37 seconds left to play in the first half. When we come back, the Panthers will have second down and nine on the Hawaii 20. Sears Hawaii is a proud supporter of University of Hawaii Athletics. Monday. Prepare for the switch. Can I switch gears? Because I'm freaking out here. Okay, okay. The WB 7th Heaven and Gilmore girls move to a new day and time. Monday night at 7 and Tuesday night at 7 on K5, the home team, Hawaii's WB. It will be as we turn the action again. Second down and nine from the 20-yard line. In at middle linebacker is Chad Kalili Moku from Kapole and Roosevelt High School. He is in for Chris Brown. Lili Moku is number 56. Tony Romo calling signals. Second down and nine. Now they switch it up. Triple wide receiver to the left. Raymond, the single setback, lays it off to Raymond. They wait for him at the line of scrimmage, and down he goes. That play was read well by Matt Wright. Loss on the play of two. That'll bring up third down. Terrific job of Matt Wright, and, and he got his body under control. He came to balance as he ran out there. He didn't. You're, you're going to have a chance to see that right now. You watch him come to balance, get under control so he can make the tackle, so he can make the runner go outside. Good job. Third down. And 11 from the 22. Chris Brown back in at middle linebacker. Four wide receivers. Romo Pumpix now throws deep, incomplete. Wanted Bumpish. And Bumpish was covered uh, by Sean Butts. That will bring up fourth down. And Steve Kuhn will come on to try the field goal. Kuhn set high school team records for 11 field goals in a season, three in a game, and eight straight. He is also a member of the National Honor Society, this freshman from Arlington Heights, Illinois. Out of the hold of Kyle Kissa. This is a 39-yard. Slight bobble. That is good, however. So Q comes back and tacks on three. And it's now 23 to 16. Hawaii leading with two minutes and 44 seconds left to play in uh, this first time as you look at Bob Spoon. That's a nice job by Kuhn. Reminiscent, Jim, although not quite the same pressure of the kicker from Michigan who missed a couple of days and then came back and made one late. Another young, young player. And Kuhn will have a lot more confidence now the rest of the football game. Snap, hold, kick. The snap and the hold are not, are not perfect. But Kissick does a nice job of getting the ball on the tee, and Kuhn makes a nice kick, good follow-through, just like hitting a six-iron. Nine plays, 53 yards, four minutes, and 42 seconds of elapsed time. That tightens the game. It is now 23 to 16. And Kuhn will kick off. Michael Brewster, his last effort at returning resulted in a 60-yard return. Let's see how he does here. Kuhn really puts his foot to this. Backing up halfway into the end zone is Brewster. He's going to run it out? No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, now he was, he, he thought better about that and it's a good thing he did because, yeah, Tyson 
is telling him right there that Tyson Helton is telling him right there that uh, that was a really good decision. Mike Bass has come in at running back now for Hawaii. Colbert to the near side along with Ilawa and also Chad Orange. Gossett is to the far side. Timmy Chang first down from the 20. Hawaii leading 23 to 16. Chang throws, incomplete. He wanted Gossett threw into coverage. Ball was thrown behind Gossett. That'll bring up second down and 10. Just a point of interest, Jim. Tyson Helton, who the, was shown on camera there, the special teams coach from, from the University of Hawaii. His father, Kim, is one of the coaches for the Washington Redskins under Steve Spurrier. They're all excited about getting to start the NFL season this week and see how they can do. Tyson's done a really nice job with the special teams from UH in the second year. Second down and 10 from the 20. Jimmy Chang, 8 for 15 and passing. Shovel pass. This is back to the 30. Back to the 40. Turns the corner at midfield. It's a horse race down the sideline. The 35 yard line. And out of bounds at the 34. 46 yard gain by Mike Bass. This is one of those places Timmy Chang gets gets credit for a 46 yards completion here. But this is obviously just a little short shovel pass. Nice job of call. Nice call by June Jones. Mike Bass does not want to switch that ball right there. Just keep it the same arm. So Hawaii now at the 34 yard line of Eastern Illinois. Timmy Chang looking left. Now lays it off for Bass and throws it by him. That'll bring up second down. Timmy Chang has played this offense literally all his life. Played it all throughout high school, now into his college year. He is 9 for 16, 203 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception in this game. Second down and 10 from the 34 of Eastern Illinois. In motion is Chad Owens. Chang throws it. That is complete, I believe. That was to uh, Nate Ilawa. Ilawa coming off a redshirt year last season. Very short gain on the play. Good pressure at that time on uh, Timmy Chang. Had to throw over the pursuit. At the very least, Hawaii would like to get a field goal here to go up by 10 at the half. 3rd down and 9. Big play here for Hawaii. Hero Mitchell has come into the game as the running back. Hawaii sends three receivers to the left. Chang looking right. Rolling right. Sets up. Nothing to the left. Now throws up the sideline. That's complete at the 20-yard line. Excellent patience by Chang. Complete to Neil Gossett. And for Gossett, that's his first reception of the season. Excellent, ex excellent, excellent patience here by Timmy Chang of just buying himself some time and giving his receivers a chance to find a, find a throwing lane. Just as he's about to go out of bounds, he lays the ball off to Gossett. Well done. And you can see Timmy Chanks. I mean, his head was on a swivel that time. He was looking left, looking right. Backing up, backpedaling, dancing, finally throwing up the sideline. Oh, what a flood. First down from the 20. Chang looking, throws. That is too long. He tried for the touchdown to Gossett. Ball just too long, too high. Nick Allison covering on the play for Eastern Illinois. That'll bring up second down. And 10, less than a minute to play in the first half, 57 seconds. Hawaii leading 23 to 16. Hawaii has timeouts. They have three timeouts. So we're liable to see a little screen pass or some kind of a draw here. Three wide receivers come out to the near side. And the widest receiver is Colbert. Gossett to the far side. Gossett. Out of Waipahu High School, Chang throws, 
Plays it off. That's complete to Chad Owens. Owens inside the 15. And he is wrestled to the turf at the 12-yard line. So that'll bring up third down, short yardage. Timeout. And timeout has been called by Hawaii with 45 seconds left here in this first half. So Hawaii now in their first evidence of getting down close to the goal line with time running out. And you can see this pass to Chad Owens. Again, Chad Owens just trying to get him the ball with some space. As the season progresses, there'll be more things that give him a chance to exhibit his running ability because he has running ability aplenty, as we can see uh, last year when he made, I think, second team All-American and led the, led the nation in kickoff returns. Set records against uh, BYU, 347 yards against the Cougars in the last game of last season. Touchdown returns and punt returns. And all of a sudden, here's June Jones saying he is not going to do that this year. That surprised a lot of people. Well, it did. It's, it's, uh, I think it's just because June plays his receivers the whole game. They don't ever come out of the game. Uh, and a lot of people rotate receivers, but in, in the Hawaii offense, the receivers are responsible to read things after the ball is snapped, and they just get continuity by being in there the whole game. And uh, I think he felt if he was going to use him in the kicking game, he would use him with, with discretion. And certainly you see Timmy Chang starting to warm to the task here, have a better opportunity to find people in the offense. Ball is at the 12, third down and two. Big play out of the shotgun, Timmy Chang along with Kilo Mitchell. Chang looking, sets up throws. That is complete, Chad Owen, short of the touchdown. But he does get the first down. Fred Miller saved the six points. Nice job by Chad Owens. He has very, very good hands. Tremendously exciting player. The ball is at the one. Jason Wielden has come into the game at quarterback. This should be speed option. Hero Mitchell, the single running back. The motion is Ilawa. Wielden turns, gives the ball up the middle to Hero Mitchell. Mitchell scores. Touchdown for Thero Mitchell. His first touchdown of the year. He had nine touchdowns last season. The Hawaii tacks on six, and it's now 29 to 16 with 17 seconds left to play in the first half. Well, you get your mo more mobile quarterback, your more running quarterback, and he plays some short yardage and some goal line. That's a good way to diversify your offense because. Uh, obviously, they're going to do more things than just run the speed option with Weldon because he has the whole offense, and he's gotten his feet wet tonight within the, within the context of this game, which is all good. Mayak with the point after. It is good. We'll take another look at that touchdown, that plunge, that probe by uh, Thero Mitchell. The only th concern offenses have with changing quarterbacks on the goal line is just getting the snap on the goal line. And I think it looked like that uh, that snap was very solid. And uh, I'm sure June, June Jones and his offensive staff have worked on it very hard. So that's a good compliment to, to what they're doing. Hawaii goes 80 yards in nine plays, two minutes and 20 seconds of elapsed time. Mitchell with that one yard run. So Hawaii has scored at all facets of the game, a pass interception, a touchdown, a rushing touchdown, a touchdown uh, through the air. Here's Justin Ayat ready to kick off now from the 35-yard line. Two touchdown passes in this first half uh, for Timmy Chang, a 13-yarder to Nate Ilawa, and a 59-yarder to Justin Colbert at the near sideline. Ayat will kick off. Deep is Andre Raymond. And that's a little boot push, and Hawaii, and Hawaii has it. <laughs> Hawaii gets it back with 13 seconds left. Now that surprised everybody. I mean everybody. Well, I, 
I don't think he was trying to do that. I think he was trying to kick the ball on the ground, and it just happened to hit one of the up front people, which which happens. Gianni Alapa. It hit, hit Chris Walter and bounced off his right arm, and Alapa got on the football. 13 seconds left. Hawaii you trying to work some magic here at the end of the first half. Two timeouts. Whistle blow. Timeout, charge Eastern Illinois, second timeout of the half. And Eastern Illinois calls a timeout with 13 seconds left to play. As you look at Bob Spoo in his 16th year at, at Eastern Illinois, Bob Spoo has a stoic continence. But what he has done, of course, he has seen it all. He has uh, been in the Big Ten. He has been in the big time part of college football. And I say big time only because of the classification division 1A. When you're in Division 1 AA, that's big time to you. And it's excellent football, as Eastern Illinois has displayed here in this first half. And Bob Spoo also coached Jim in, the, in one of the fine high school leagues in the country, the Catholic League of Chicago at Loyola High School and at Fenwick. Uh, some of the best high school football in the country. So he has seen it all, as you say. This is the kind of situation that June Jones, the coach of Hawaii, just, I mean, he loves this kind of situation. 13 seconds left. He has the ball 36 yards away from the end zone. He has a quarterback that can put the ball on the money, and he has receivers that will run all over the place in this run and shoot. We'll see what transpires here. Probably can get three plays. Probably can get three plays or two plays on a field goal attempt. Timmy Chang on the 36-yard line. Chang with time. Throws. That is complete to Jackson. Inside the 15-yard line to the 11. Five seconds left. Boy, desperately calling a timeout, and they get it. Timmy Chang had all day. We have a, we have a uh, player down. That's Nick Ricks. Down ball, for Eastern Illinois. Ball's going to the outside person. Going to Gossett. He's just running the inside route, finding a window. Makes the catch. Nice job of catching a football with his hands. And Hawaii will go for the field goal. So Ayat will come out. And this will be a 29-yarder angle from the right. Concern now for Nick Ricks. He's out of Deerfield, uh, Deerfield Beach, Florida. He led the uh, conference. He is all Ohio Valley first team. Led the conference in tackles with 125 last year. So he appears to be okay as he walks under his own power to the sidelines. Ayat thinking about this field goal out of the hold of Sean with the Allen. This is a big play for Hawaii to be ahead. 17 is much, obviously much better than 14. There's the kick. Ryan drives it. That's good. So Hawaii tacks on three. As I don't know what kind of kick that was, but it turned out to be a very fortuitous bounce for Hawaii and at halftime it is 33 to 16 Hawaii over Eastern Illinois a game that has seen both teams go up and down this uh, this field well that kick Jim I've seen that happen many times in college football you try to kick the ball on the ground or flat through the front line and the front line just needs to be aware of that because that can happen let's go down to Russell Yamanoha and coach Bob Spook Coach, uh, kind of a tale of two halves for you. Three, uh, three points they held Hawaii through in the first half. Then they come out and put 30 on the board. Well, you know, I think uh, we gave up too many big plays. Uh, that's, that's the whole key there. I, I think we're holding them, and, and I think we're fighting, and we're playing hard. But we gave up too many big plays, and I'm a little disappointed in that. But we've got to get that corrected and come back, and, and I think our kids are going to play tough in the second half. All right, Coach, thanks a lot for stopping by with us. Eastern Illinois head coach Bob Spoon. Parade to 16 at halftime. More to come from Aloha Stadium. At CSX Line, we'll ship your vehicle in a closed container, guaranteed. 
protecting it from the sun, salt, and harmful contaminants. Our local customer service staff will make the whole process easy and worry-free. Our prices are very competitive. We can get your car to the West Coast faster and we'll ship your vehicle in a sealed container. Call or visit us online at shipmyvehicle.com. CSX Lines, your car shipping experts. put together the Honolulu Advertiser are your family, friends, and neighbors. We understand what you care about, and you'll find it when you want it every day. The Honolulu Advertiser, Hawaii's newspaper, mornings, now with the PM edition every weekday. 33 to 16 at halftime, Hawaii over Eastern Illinois. Hawaii started very slowly tonight very tentatively but then when Timmy Chang got warmed up 13 yard touchdown pass to Nate Ialoa and a 59 yarder to Justin Colbert on the other side of the ball Tony Romo has played very well for Eastern Illinois Hawaii's really had to make adjustments just to contain it more to come Stadium. When you look at this game, the way it has started, the way it started very slowly, and Eastern Illinois came a long way, but they came to play. They were able to score first. They were able to hold the lead for a little while. They started to teeter-totter back and forth between the two teams, and then Hawaii just reached out, using the big play, reached out and seized the scoring in the second in the second quarter. The big play really has worked for Hawaii. Well, I think a lot of what you saw in the first half, Jim, is a psychological thing because Eastern Illinois is coming to play a Division I football team. They know it's going to take their very, very best. Hawaii's been told all year that they're, the biggest thing that's going to happen to them early in their season is the BYU game. And so even though the coaches haven't said that to them, their fan, the fans have said that, their girlfriends said that, their mothers said that. And so they come out here and all of a sudden, holy cow, Eastern Illinois can play. They're well coached. And so the Hawaii kids dug down deep and, and did a nice job in the second quarter. Let's take a look now at Cairo Plant and halftime adjustments for both teams. First for Eastern Illinois. Well, I think for Eastern Illinois, Jim, you see uh, Tony Romo here. Uh, pass protection in a sure pass situation, in a show pass situation, I think is the thing that Eastern Illinois has got to do better in order to survive in the second half. And Hawaii needs to stop the run. Hawaii has to stop the run much better. They need to play better front defense against the run. Eastern Illinois, in, in getting to the quarterback, Romo, Hawaii wasn't getting to him in the beginning of the game, but they started really to put the pressure on as the first half wore on. Yeah, and their pass protection has got to improve because they're going to place a, face a lot more sure pass situations in the second half. So when you take a look at, at both teams, Hawaii starting to get the feel of their offense and Eastern Illinois going deeper and deeper into that playbook. I mean, we may see formations for Eastern Illinois that we didn't see in the first half. And of course, we may see variations on the theme for Hawaii that we didn't see in the first half. Absolutely, but I think Hawaii is going to stay very basic to their offense because they feel like if they can win this game without going too deep in the playbook, then they've got more for the rest of the season, the conference, etc. More to come from Aloha Stadium, Hawaii against Eastern Illinois. Stay with us. Life goes 
goes by so fast. Is your life insurance coverage keeping up? To help you be absolutely sure, talk to someone who not only understands your life, but how fast things can change. Talk to a State Farm agent. A good neighbor, State Farm is there. There's a powerful new equation in the investment world. It's for people who want to participate in their financial future and not leave it to be quote unquote experts. It's about possibilities, following a path, and making the most of your financial potential. Introducing the P3 equation from the new Bank of Hawaii Investment Services Group. Bank of Hawaii Investment Services Group. A unique approach to investing for unique people like you. Today I'm introducing my best ultimate cheeseburger ever. The meat's juicier, there's new sauces, even the wrapper's bigger just to hold them. Now I want to see what real people think. Hi, I'm Jared. I'm Jeff. Where are you from, Jared? Subway. Want to try my new ultimate cheeseburger? Sure. So? Really good. Proof. Jared from the Subway digs my best ultimate cheeseburger ever. On the WB Sunday night, a child conceived by darkness will turn her against her sisters. Charmed. Then, the Angel's dark deeds have opened the door for an unexpected arrival. Angel. After Charm. Tonight on K5, the home team, Hawaii's WB. Catch a volleyball doubleheader. First, UCLA takes on Ohio State. Then the Wahine face the Buffaloes of Colorado. It all begins today at 3 on K5, the home team. Let's take a look at the numbers now, the first half between these two teams, Hawaii and Eastern Illinois. Sponsored by AT&T Wireless, AT&T Wireless. Welcome to the M Life. I think, Jim, you see here that time of possession and first downs are not as important as people think they are because certainly Eastern Illinois has dominated those, but is behind in football game by two and a half touchdowns. When you take a look at the total yards, Eastern Illinois, who started very well in this game, has 239. Hawaii now with 300. And you can credit those uh, total yards to big plays. 59 yard touchdown pass from uh, the quarterback, Tim Chang. Uh, to the wide receiver, Justin Colbert, the biggest evidence of the run and shoot in the first half for Hawaii. And when you look at the individual uh, rushing, Taylor, 86 yards on 14 carries. His longest was 19. And Andre Raymond, uh, he had four carries for 25 yards. Raymond, eight receptions for 47 yards. So Raymond really is the cog in that Eastern Illinois offense. He does so many things for him so many different positions in that offense. Yes, he does, and I think they'll continue to try to get him the football, and uh, I think the second half will be interesting because when they talked to, we talked to Bob Spoo at half, he certainly reflected that he was upset by the score, and his team was going to come out and fight like the Dickens, and I think that they will. Well, you see, Tony Romo, let's go down uh, to uh, June Jones and Russell Yamanoha. Hey, June, uh slow start for your team but you guys turned it on in the second quarter 30 point second quarter yeah you know we have had a slow start we haven't played well in any of my uh, starts it seemed like since i got here but we got to go in the second now we got to prove that we're a legit team and and uh, turn it up in the second half and eliminate the mistakes we made and just keep going and not many penalties it's just a little strange for an opener yeah no we we did some things to try to eliminate them on offense and i think it's it's working Hopefully we can continue to do that and just keep the pressure on them. We just got to keep trying to get it down the field in the end zone. All right, Coach, good luck to you in the second half. I'll send it back up to Jim and the booth. Okay, thanks, Ross. You can see that uh, June Jones not satisfied with the way things have gone in the first half. He is a true believer in the run and shoot. I mean, he has made statements over the course of his four years here. The run and shoot should score a touchdown on every single play if things are done right. Well, June's been running that offense since he, he was uh, since he was a player, so he understands it maybe better than anybody in the United States of America, and he has tremendous belief in it, and that belief is is transferred to his players, so the whole team has a tremendous belief in it. But that's just one part of the Hawaii football team: the special team, the defense, it has many components, and he certainly wants to see all those components functioning 
at a high level of efficiency here in the second half in preparation for going into next week because Hawaii leaves on Tuesday. Uh, for the and they go at altitude. And they go at altitude. The plus, you know, we begin the second half with Hawaii speaking Eastern Illinois, 33 to 16. Kicking off for Eastern Illinois, Steve King. And Michael Brewster is Steve Brewster with a 60-yard kickoff return in the first half. So we are underway. Barry Schwartz coming and taking it on the 25-yard line and just over the 30 to the 31. was uh, Kalka, Jonathan Kalka, a senior of the Hilo, for what you went to YKF. So Timmy Chang ready to go to work here. Chang, 14 of 23 for 261 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception in the first half. Colbert immediately starts going out to his position on the left triple wide receiver to the right. Gossett is the widest, and in motion you see Ilawa. Ilawa with the 13-yard touchdown reception. It is Ilawa trying to get around the corner, stumbles at the line of scrimmage, and picks up maybe a yard, maybe two. David Bentley, number 55, who has an interception in that first half. There to really put the, not the exact tackle on him, but at least to slow him down. Alawa and Chad Owens, both in the slots, are tremendous runners. And to exploit their running ability will be something that Hawaii will be attempting to do uh, not only this second half, but, but uh, throughout the season. So Alawa is given credit out to the 34-yard line. Here comes Hawaii again, same formation. Second down, and about six. Here's the same play. Alawa turning the corner, and he... Head flex his way for the first down at the 41-yard line. Roosevelt Williams finally knocked him out of bounds for Eastern Illinois. Hawaii started Wayne Hunter, Shane Kajioka, Louis Fuwata, Vince Monawai, and Uriah Moinoa in the front offensive line. Very experienced offensive line, all returnees. All returning starters. Except for Hunter, he was a part-time starter on the defense last year, number 70. First down from the 41. Chang looking, gives that ball a two. Hero Mitchell. Mitchell 50, 40. Mitchell outside at the 20 to the 10, and out of bounds he goes inside the 10-yard line. Hero Mitchell. Fred Miller saved the touchdown. This is another nice job here of Timmy Chang with the little dump off to Thero Mitchell, the screen pass. And Thero does a nice job of powering the ball down the field. Excellent size and speed. Big play. Hawaii trying to make a statement early on in this second half. 13-51 left the play in the third quarter. Hawaii leads it 33-16. to They have the ball inside the nine-yard line. And now, Hawaii has gone over 300 yards passing. That's what Timmy Chang has consistently done. He's really put up the numbers. Now some confusion, and Hawaii has to burn a timeout early in the second half. That does not please June Jones. 33-16. Hawaii knocking on the door. We'll see what happens when we return. Kyoya Restaurant, winner of numerous awards for its Japanese cuisine and architectural design. Experience true Japanese cuisine and local favorites at Kyoya Restaurant. Located at the entrance to Waikiki, Kyoya offers a taste of Japan which is uncompromising to perfection. Chef Inoue has created exciting new menu items. Choose from nine newly renovated private tatami rooms or the Takeniwa dining room. 
Join us at Kyoya, serving superb Japanese cuisine for over 40 years. For reservations, call 947-3911. Hawaii with the ball just short of the eight-yard line with a little more than or a little under 14 minutes left to play in this third period. Hawaii taking the opening kickoff, marching all the way down. They have it at the eight of Eastern Illinois. And Hawaii leading 33 to 16. They come out in a four wide receiver set. Jimmy Chang fakes the play action to Mitchell. Throws on the run. That's caught short of the touchdown. And coming down with it is Nate Ilaor. Ilawa, I should say. Ilawa able to uh, gather in the ball at about the one. Nice play action to Thero Mitchell. Jimmy Chang rolling to the outside. He'd like to have that ball out in front by another foot or two, and it would be a, be a walk for a touchdown. Jason Wielden has come in at quarterback with the ball at the one. Last time we were in this situation, it was a handoff to Hero Mitchell for the touchdown. See what happens here. The second down goal to go. The motion is Ilawa. Looking into the end zone is Wielden. Wielden in trouble. And they swallow him up back at the four-yard line. And that's a good job of, of giving Wielden something else so that people can't play the speed option. I'm sure that's going to be his lead card. But here you've got him trying to throw over to the trip side, pulling the ball down and running it. Ricks made the play. Ricks, an outstanding linebacker, one of the captains of Eastern Illinois. So now the ball is just inside the four-yard line. It is third down and goal to go. Triple wide receivers to the left. Gossett. The only receiver on the right. Wielden remains in at quarterback for Hawaii. Wielden from the shotgun. Pitches back. Mitchell, time for the end zone. Touchdown. Well done by Wielden of getting the ball outside to Thero Mitchell. From the shotgun, being able to run the option. Another piece of the puzzle. A little more diversity in short yardage and goal line than, than uh, Coach Jones would have if, if Chang were the only option that he had quarterback-wise. Ready for the point after. Ayat. And that's perfect. All right, here you see Wilden attacking the edge and then dishing the ball outside. And Thero Mitchell just freezes the defense and comes outside. Now, the thing Wilden does here that is, wouldn't be your first choice as a coach is he goes under the guy that's got the quarterback and still pitches the ball. 69 yards in six plays, two minutes and 44 seconds of a lap time. And the big play, of course, that jaunt up the sideline by Thero Mitchell. Mitchell well, that scores was, his second touchdown of the game. Wilden, uh, if, if whether or not he was uh, supposed to be in the shotgun or supposed to be under the center will remain to be seen whether or not Hawaii runs the option from both the gun and under the center. I'd like to welcome everyone watching tonight's telecast on Fox Sports West 2 on AC or, or rather on ASCN Sports in the Pacific Northwest on WEIU in Charleston, Illinois, on KWWL in Waterloo, Iowa, and around the world on Armed Forces Radio and Television. Here comes Raymond on the kickoff. Raymond over the 25 to about the 27-yard line. We send you all our alohas from Aloha Stadium. Well, Eastern Illinois, at this point in time, they have to just come in and get a great drive going on offense. Not too much pass, mix the pass and the run because their offense is not uh, primarily a passing offense as Hawaii's is and try to climb their way back into the football game one play at a time. First down for Eastern Illinois, the ball at their own 28-yard line. Tony Romo, quick pass, and that's thrown behind Raymond. And instant pressure that time uh, by uh, Kevin Jackson. Kevin Jackson got a hand on the ball. 
Here you see Kevin Jackson at right end. He's a six foot five. He gets his hand up. Makes a nice play on the football. Second down and 10 for Eastern Illinois. They now trail 40 to 16 in this game. O'Neill and Osborne are flanked to the far side. Romo gets the ball off to J.R. Taylor. Taylor is wrestled to the turf at about the 30-yard line. Gain on the play of only about two. That'll bring up third down and eight. Lance Samuseva imitating the Great Wall. Samuseva, 5'11", 290. Very tough to move. Better job against the run by the University of Hawaii front. I'm sure that's something Kevin Lempa really concentrated on at the half, and I think as time goes on, you should see them play the run better and better. Hawaii going to the nickel package now, putting in extra defensive backs on third in a passing situation. Third down about seven and a half from the shotgun. Romo, quick throw. That's complete, and that should be enough for the first down. Complete to Devin O'Neill. O'Neill in double coverage still able to gather it in. An eight-yard gain for the first down. Piece of Tinoi Samoa and Kelvin Milhouse there to make the start. You'll see Devin O'Neill here going to the outside. Just a stop route comes back to the inside and makes the play. Kevin Milhouse on the tackle. The biggest difference in the two offenses so far in the game is that Hawaii has made the big plays. A couple on screens, one deep pass, and Eastern Illinois has not. Hobson wide to the near side. Jones in motion. Ball is given to Taylor. And Taylor able to get some yardage over the 40 to about the 43. Isaac Sapuanga there to make the stop gain on the play of three. And it is second down and seven for Eastern Illinois. Isaac Sapuanga, Jim, getting a free education here tonight because he, he did not play football last year. He did not have a spring practice. And so he's He's playing for the first time, playing more than maybe he anticipated, and will grow by leaps and bounds as the season progresses. Second down and seven. Bonafa comes in with one of the extra defensive backs. From the shotgun. The throw, that is complete, and with it is Raymond. Raymond trying to get around Illuminium. Hawaii blitz that time, and... Romo picked up the blitz and threw to the area vacated by the blitz, and that ended up in a completion. Chris Brown was there to finally stop the progress of Raymond. That's third down in less than a yard. Taylor, 16 carries now, 93 yards for Eastern Illinois. Taylor, number 22, he checks into the lineup. On third and very short yard, O'Neill is flanked to the far side. Last time they had short and third and short, they play action and tried to go deep. Taylor. Taylor may not have the first down. He doesn't. That time, Hawaii was able to wall him off and then really swallow him up. Led by Samu Seva. Samu Seva in the green shirts rose to the occasion. So on third down and very short yardage for the second time in this game, they come up with nothing. And see, Jim, my feeling is that that's quarterback sneak material. You just find a bubble in the defense and get behind those big old guys because you don't want to take the ball off the line because that gives the defense a chance to do just what they did. Tom Run Schofield, quarterback sneaks. Tom Schofield in to punt. They were practicing fake punts when they uh, worked out here at the stadium the other night. We'll see. Well, at this time, Schofield line drives it to Bass, lets it bounce on the 20. And it will tumble to the 16, and Hawaii will put the ball in play there with 8 minutes and 35 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. Hawaii leading 40 to 16. Much more to come from Aloha Stadium. Now through September, during our Sum of the Part sweepstakes, enter to win a new Subaru WRX and other great prizes, including Las Vegas trips from Vacations Hawaii and Neighbor Island getaways from Pleasant Island Holidays. Details at Napa stores and Napa Auto Care Centers statewide. No purchase necessary. Come by Napa Auto Parts. When problems begin, we'll get you out of the picture. 
Americans bust their humps 52 weeks a year, seven days a week. Time to trash that schedule. I just pushed me. And get out there with 0% financing for 60 months on the new 2002 Dodge that grabs you. Plus, get our seven-year or 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Ford, Chevy, Toyota, and Honda don't match it. I just pushed me. Grab life by the horns and grab something that works for you. 0% financing and 770 protection. See what the Warriors have done in this game. Their first three drives, two punts and an interception. But in the last six drives, four touchdowns and two field goals. Chevron with Tecron removes deposits other brands can leave behind so your car performs its best all the time. So Hawaii will have it. They will put it on the 17 and will be first down. to Mike Bass. Bass had some space, or maybe he took his eyes off of it. That ball was catchable, but he was unable to do so. Second down and 10 from the 17. Hawaii leading here, 40 to 16 over Eastern Illinois. Colbert's 59-yard touchdown pass is flanked to the far side. Given up the middle with it is Bass probing that secondary, loose in the secondary, and all the way out to the 35-yard line. 18-yard joint. Bass and Theo Mitchell really complementing each other. One, uh, as I, I think I said last year, thunder and lightning. One very quick, elusive, and the other big, strong, and still elusive. And uh, doing a nice job. Nick Ricks is down, and he is down for the second time in this game. Good block on that last play by Shane Kajioka, able to turn the defender. And Bass was able to run right behind him for that 18-yard odyssey. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoha. Yeah, Jim, all through the preseason, the big talk at the Rainbow Camp or Warrior Camp, I should say, has been the... Uh, they picked you in the throwing hand of quarterback Timmy Chang. I talked to him right before he went out on the series. I asked him how his uh, pinky was feeling. He said it was fine. He's got that uh, pillow brace, they're calling it, on his uh, throwing pinky to try to keep that uh, that uh, broken finger uh, stiff as he delivers the ball. He said he's, it's not bothering him at all, and he's feeling no pain right now. I think in football, all the offensive and defensive line get, get tired of reading about the quarterback's pinky because those guys are getting stepped on, getting smashed, and... Uh, they all wish the quarterback sometime would come down. And just, maybe, uh, maybe if it was his thumb, <laughs> maybe that would make a difference. 13 first downs now for the Warriors compared to 15 for the Panthers. Again, it is Bass. Bass, good spin move over the 40, out to the 43. Good game on that play, close to nine yards. Jacob Maurer, number 30, made the stop. Maurer from Metamora, Illinois, making the stop. There you see the pinky. And, the, and, and calling it the pillow, that doesn't help either. No, I'll tell you what. This is a tough game, and as I said, I think, uh, I'm sure Timmy doesn't like all that either. He just wants to play. Second down and one. Ball just over the 43. Chang rolling. Chang near the sideline, now throws, throws it away. Nice job. Nice job. That's the rules in college football. If you, if you escape the tackle box, you can throw the ball away. There doesn't have to be receiving the area. The ball just needs to cross the line of scrimmage. Will Byan really put the pressure on him. 6'1", 252 pound redshirt freshman out of Hampshire, Illinois. There you see Byan and Chang just throwing the ball away. Third down, short yardage again. Let's see what the Warriors do here. Thero Mitchell reports for duty in the backfield along with Chang. That's complete. Wide open with it is Owens. And Owens able to high step all the way to the 35-yard line of Eastern Illinois. This is a nice job by Timmy Chang of going to the open man because the Eastern Illinois coaches motioned their defenders outside on the number two receiver and Chang got it to Chad Owens. 22-yard gain for Chad Owens. Numbers 
keep adding up for Timmy Chang, becoming very productive. 40 to 16, Hawaii again moving. Ball just inside the 35-yard line of Eastern Illinois. Chang looking left, now checks off, comes back over the middle, throws. That is complete crossing pattern to Gossett inside the 20. 16-yard game. Nice job by Gossett. Gossett is a young man that has to do a great job of being able to play one-on-one. -on -one. He's taking Ashley Lalee's place. Good throw by Timmy Chang. Zip the ball in there against his own defense. Hawaii has gone over 400 yards now in total offense. 434 to be exact. First down from the 20. Of Eastern Illinois. Chang throws. That is complete. Touchdown. Over the second touchdown of this game. And that ball was put into Colbert's hand perfectly by Tim Chang. Here's Colbert on the outside. He comes back inside, frees himself up, gets a perfect throw from Timmy Chang. Touchdown. Able to get position on Roosevelt Williams, the corner. The quick strike capability is really is really starting to show. And, and Hawaii's offensive line is doing a terrific job. There's very, very little pressure on Chang. The point after is good. It is now 47 to 16. Hawaii with 619 left to play in the third period. Are you just going to lay around all day? I think so. Fine. Place no better beer. Make it a Bud Light, Hawaii. You get a good eye for buddy. Yeah. Presenting the Sony Vile Pen Tablet PC, the modern version of putting pen to paper. See the scoring drive, 83 yards in seven plays, two minutes and 16 seconds elapsed time, an 18 yard reception uh, to Colbert from Chang. That's the second touchdown reception for Colbert. It is his sixth in his career. Chang now with three touchdown passes in this game. Good running coming up the field by Raymond over the 35 to the 37 yard line. Excellent return by the very busy Andre Raymond. Raymond had 717 yards in rushing last year. Led the Ohio Valley Conference in kickoff returns, and that was an example of it right there as he was able to get out to the 37-yard line. First down now for Eastern Illinois. They've been battered here in the second half. Boy, showing blitz. Here comes Milhouse on the blitz. Quick pass. That's complete to Bumpus. Bumpus with a good move out over the 40. And he's flung down. The ball comes loose, but they say that it came out after he hit the ground. Seven-yard gain. Second down and three. I'm sure what Bob Spoo has said to his team now on the sideline prior to this last offensive series, Jim, is he just wants to see them really continue to compete hard and really do the best job they can of keeping their poise as they have fallen further and further behind, and their, their temperament and their guts and determination will really be important here. Second down and three. Romo looking, throws, that's incomplete. Good coverage that time by the Warriors. Illumimian was on O'Neal, and O'Neal could not separate from it. Milhouse was on Bumpus, and Milhouse did a good job there. And so Romo, even though he threw the ball, did not throw it with any great Targetability. 
third down and three for Eastern Illinois. The thing that's changed here in the second half, Hawaii's done a better job against the run, and consequently, Eastern has had more pure passing situations, and now they're way behind, and it's going to be more of that. Raymond strength out. Romo crossing pattern. That's complete to O'Neill. And O'Neill with the first down inside Hawaii territory. Hiram Peters. Peters with an interception touchdown run in the first half. Making the stop there. The ball advanced to the Hawaii 43 yard line. Romo is really a sweet operator. He is going to have a terrific year. He's somebody I think will be able to look back and look at the national stats in one double A and, and see him right in the middle of things and understand what kind of a player he is. Hobson to the far side. High formation. Ball is given up the middle to Raymond. Boy, he explodes into that secondary. He ran right by Sapuanga. I think in Isaac Sapuanga, we're seeing a young man that has worlds of ability but just needs to play. And if Louis Funga is hurt, he's going to have to play more, and he's just got to learn to keep his pads down and use his strength and quickness and read blocks. Hiram Peters finally halted the progress. Ball has been advanced to the 30-yard line. Four minutes and 41 seconds left to play in the third period. First down at the 30. Ball again is given to Raymond. Raymond trying to get into that secondary, and he does. And he's finally rolled to the turf by Chris Brown. I spoke too quickly about the run defense. Uh, nice job by the offensive front of, of uh, the Panthers. Ball is at the 20, first down for Eastern Illinois. O'Neill is flanked to the near side, along with Bumpus. Raymond, the single setback. The motion is Jones. This is Raymond. Raymond into that secondary inside the 15, twirls inside the 10, and finally he's hurled back. He is running well, and the offensive line is performing well. Another excellent game on the ground for Eastern Illinois. Raymond doing a terrific job. The offensive line coming off the ball, and again, Kevin Lemka this next week is going to work very hard on his guys just keeping good gap control, whether the flow is to them or away from them, not getting their shoulders turned, staying right down the line of scrimmage if they're not penetrating on a stunt and making plays. Raymond, that all-purpose performer. It is Raymond again. Raymond all the way to the five-yard line. We'll see where they give him forward progress, but they are shredding that offensive front, really putting the pressure on those down linemen on the defense for Hawaii. Well, I think, Jim, what happens is Hawaii doesn't see a, a, a real frontal attack in, in two-a-days spring practice. And so you're going to have to warm to that task during the course of the season. But credit Coach Lemp and his guys because last year, by the time they were playing Fresno and people that were going to come at them up front, they did a nice job of coaching and got, and got more ready for that type of an attack. Second down, goal to go into the end zone. Touchdown, Bumpus. Bumpus beat Milhouse. Romo conducted that drive like he was in front of a symphony orchestra and the soloist on that drive was Mr. Raymond, Andre Raymond. Nice drive, mixing the pass and the run. Previously, they'd gone mostly to the pass and now they've mixed the pass and the run because that's their offense. They are not a pure pass offense. Kuhn in to try the point after and that's good. And it is now 47 to 23. This is another nice throw and catch from Roma to Bumpus. Thrown perfectly. You see Bumpus getting off of press. Well done. And you have to credit Eastern Illinois. I mean, they could have folded the tent here. Exactly. I think they have too much pride. This is a nine and two football team. This is a championship football team. Uh, champions of their league. They start out with Division 1A opponents in the University of Hawaii and Kansas State. 
Uh, University of Hawaii coming off a terrific season. A formidable opponent in Kansas State will be uh, a terrific opponent for them. And so they're really starting off uh, with a tough schedule, but this schedule will make them better when they get into their conference. 62 yards in eight plays, three minutes and 31 seconds of the last time. The kickoff goes to Michael Brewster. Brewster at the 30. Brewster up the middle at the 40. Brewster at midfield, and they trip him up. The ball comes out, and Eastern Illinois may have it. Or was he down? We'll see. They say Hawaii will have it as he was down, and then the ball came out. Boy, another exciting run by Brewster. That's 42 yards. He had 60 yards earlier in the game. Here you see Brewster taking it up inside, just getting north and south. That's the best place to run a kickoff. And he goes down. The ground cannot cause a fumble. The ball's down right there. Josiah Crovalio hobbles off the field as he was, I guess he had a twisted ankle. There you see the ball comes out after he hits the ground. Excellent call. Jason Wielden is in at quarterback now for Hawaii. The ball is at the 49-yard line of Eastern Illinois. Wielden to throw. Steps up, throws it. That is complete. And that ball is down to the 25-yard line to Britton Komine. Komine making his first catch of the season. 5'9", 184 pounds, sophomore from Honolulu and Marinol, and that's the first completion by Wielden. Nice job by Wielden of getting outside the pocket and laying the ball in there to Komine. Tremendous job. 228 left to play in the third period. If Wielden can get some experience, some snaps here, that just makes you feel better about the whole quarterback situation because he's one injury away from being in the football game all the time. First down, ball up to 25. Wielden steps up in the pocket, throws long to the end zone, leaping the camp. And the pass sails over the head of Colbert. Wielden had just a little too much on it. Here's you see Colbert again. Quarterbacks are, are used to having Ashley Lalee's six foot three inch frame out there, and they're gonna have to adjust down from a year ago. But that's an excellent that, point. That is uh, that is a throw that Wielden will make. Second down and ten from the 25. Wielden in the quarterback. Quick throw. That is incomplete. Intended for Comina through the ball in front of him. Britain unable to gather it in. Comini started. He played at Montana before coming over to Hawaii, number 84. Wielden, the school is out on just what his nickname is. Many call him Opie, some call him Holly Duty Face. He needs to Jim Neighbors, who lives, lives in Honolulu. Third down and 10 from the 25 for Jason Wielden, the quarterback. Throws. That is incomplete. We wanted Clifton Herbert that time. Herbert did not. We have not seen him in the lineup, and that will bring up fourth down. So Wielden kind of sowing oats here as far as the offense is concerned and we'll see whether Hawaii goes for it on fourth down with two minutes and 17 seconds and they will they have to go to the 15 yard line for that first down Coach Jones just wants to get him more snaps at quarterback in situations like that where he's got a must get this is a good exercise for him Wilden looking Steps up in the pocket. Wilden may run. He's at the 20 and dies for the first down. He may be short. I believe he is. Eastern Illinois, I believe, will take over on down. So Hawaii comes away with nothing on that draw. This was a good thought. He's looking downfield. He's looking. He's looking. No pressure. He turns it up inside and goes for the first. Gets his shoulders down. He's a happy yard short. 
Bentley was there along with Damian McContrell. McContrell, 5'11", 288-pound junior. He's a big fella from East St. Louis, Illinois. So first down for Eastern Illinois. They were able to come right up the field and score their last time. Tony Romo, quick pass. That's complete to Raymond. That play has worked all night long. He's out over the 20 to the 25-yard line. And very close to the first down. We'll see where they give him forward progress. Hiram Peters was there to finally knock him down. White defense just needs to play with great pride right now and keep them off the scoreboard. Don't let the ball move. Colin Wills has come into the game number 95 in that uh, defensive front. Wills from Omaha, Nebraska. Played four games last year. First down, they give him the first down. They give him forward progress to the 28. Jones in motion. Ball is given to Taylor, and Taylor in all kinds of trouble. And the green shirts show up in force, and they hurl him back. Loss on the play of three yards. Good penetration. Good trend of penetration by Hawaii. Penetration by the front. 115. First round leading the charge. Excuse me, Coach. 115 left and the clock ticking in the third period. Raymond now goes out as wide receiver. He's matched up against Illuminium. O'Neill is watched out there by Tinoy Samoa. Romo in trouble. Down he goes. He's sacked. Houston Allah, number 93, 6'1", 250 from Makaha and Kamehameha in to make the sack of the game. A loss on the play of four. Houston Allah has really changed himself over a year. He's quicker. He's stronger. Uh, he just, he's just more able to do things quickly in the defensive front. This is a nice job of getting to the football. And as we said at the half, the pass protection of Eastern Illinois is going to be severely challenged here. Third down, long yardage. Third down and 17. The ball at the 21. Tony Romo looking, rolling out of the pocket, dancing. Now throws long. That is complete to Raymond. And Raymond is close to the first down. We'll see how close. Raymond has become marvelous. was able to split the defenders and Romo was able to get it to him. So on third and 17 Eastern Illinois. That's the quarter. Really close to that first down and you're right at the end of the uh, third quarter so what they will do is spot the ball and turn things around. They are going to measure first before the end of the uh, and This will be the one they need to go for Jim huh? Oh yes. I mean if they are short Yes, if they're short, they need to go for this. If they have any chance to win the game, this has to be uh, one that they need to pick up. They can't give the ball back to Hawaii. And it's a first down. So the third quarter comes to an end. Hawaii leading, but Eastern Illinois moving the ball. And Bob Swood, never give up attitude, walking confidently up and down the sidelines. He's seen it all before. Aloha Airlines, with new daily flights to Vancouver, Burbank, and Phoenix. It's Mike McKenna's complete closeout of 2002 Model Ford trucks and SUVs. It's this week. Here's some figures you may never have seen before. Brand new Ford Ranger Super Cab trucks. Buy one, now 4000 below the actual manufacturer's price. A brand new full-size F-Series truck, 4200 below manufacturer's price. New Explorers, the hottest SUV. Buy one, 4100 under actual manufacturer's price. We'll liquidate them all. It's McKenna's complete 2002 model closeout. This presentation of NCAA football is sponsored by Budweiser with the crisp, clean, refreshing taste you'll find in no other beer.
This Bud's for you. Um, is 11 for 81 in receiving as far as 11 catches for 81 yards. This one was a gem. In between three defenders, he was yeah, triple sure teamed. Sure in total yards, he has gained 144 in the game. He's carried the ball eight times for 63 yards, too. So Raymond has been tremendous. Here's Taylor. Taylor into the secondary, all the way to the 50-yard line. Boy, there's got to be some shoring up with this uh, rainbow run defense in the short days before the BYU game. Kevin Lempa has his work well, way just, out in front of him. Just no collapse there. As Flo went away, nobody collapsed into the backside. People are coming up the field. And I think when the Hawaii defense sees this film, they will grow by leaps and bounds because, again, they haven't, they haven't sustained such a frontal attack in, in, in practice. Raymond, 19 carries now, 102 yards. This is Raymond, and they trap him. They oh. Raymond, too deep in that offense, could not turn the corner and then turn on the Jets. He said Tinoi Samoa led the charge, and then Kevin Jackson followed. So Hawaii rises up defensively as we are just underway in the fourth period. Good penetration here. Penetration up the field. When Hawaii has penetrated and penetrated well, they've done, they've done well. When they've played straight, they've, they've had problems with chase collapse, with gap control. And I believe that'll come as they see that and they get more opportunities to defend defend against that style. Abu Ma'ofala now has come into the game number 94 and that defensive front that pass was almost picked off. But Kisa Timoy saw more. That was intended for Andre Raymond. Raymond has become a one-man offense here. That time was almost disaster for Eastern Illinois as far as interceptions are concerned. Timoy Samoa was right there. Pisa would like to have that back. It's right in his hands. He'll catch that the next time. Third down. Third down and 17. The last time they had third and 17 at the end of the third quarter, they were able to make it. Third down convergence. Eastern Illinois in this game, nine for 16. And they jump offside. Jumping offside is O'Neill. Eastern Illinois still has more first downs, Jim, than Hawaii. 22-17. The big difference down. is still the big players. On the offense, five yards generally. Down Evan O'Neill jumping offside. So it will now be third down, but it will be third and 22. If it is third and 22, then Hawaii has to be very mindful of Mr. Raymond because Romo has just about eliminated everybody else in the patterns to throw to. Third and way long. Romo to throw. Romo throws. That's intercepted. That is picked off by Maafala at the 15, the 10. Touchdown! And they're going to call a penalty on him. They're going to call a penalty into the end zone. If I was a defensive lineman and I was that big I and I was that inexperienced, I'd leap, leap too. Exactly. Let him call that. That young man's a freshman. He's so excited. That may never it's happen to him in the rest of his football against career. Against the scoring team, the touchdown will count. Touchdown will count. 32-yard touchdown romp here. Watch this. That's just Tony Roma trying so hard to make a play. Now his uncle Nick Maafala would be so proud. That's Nick's nephew. The Maafala family, of course, uh, no doubt uh, looking. His brother look or his uh, relative looking down from where he is. Mickey Malafala, one of the great University of Hawaii players from McKinley High School, tremendous defensive lineman, passed away of leukemia uh, a year and a half ago. 
this is a very long point after. It is a 35-yard point after touchdown, and it is good. Abu Ma'afala, a moment of joy. I'm sorry to bother you, but I, I kind of knocked over your mailbox. But nobody's hurt. I mean, I'll pay for everything. Come, I'll show you. Oh, and then there was this kid, right? Uh, this ball just came out of nowhere. And, and so I swerved and I accidentally hit the... At AIG Hawaii, claims are done fast, done right, guaranteed. Call today for a money-saving quote. Abu Ma'afala out of Kamehameha. 32-yard touchdown, interception return, second interception return for a touchdown in this game. Hiram Peters early did the same thing. Kicking off is Ayat. Mine drives it down the middle. Waiting for it. Kicking it up is Raymond, and here we go again. Raymond out over the 25 to the 28-yard line. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoha. You know, Jim, when the score is 54-20, you can have some fun down here on the Warriors' sideline. Last year, as a freshman, Chad Owens, he dove in almost the same spot, dove into the end zone against Texas El Paso. Now another freshman, Abu Maafala, dives into the end zone. And during that last time out, Chad Owens comes over to Abu Maafala and says, Hey, buddy, thanks for stealing my move. <laughs> as you say, Coach, that may never happen again. 14.30 left to play in the game. Romo in the pocket. Now rolls out. Now throws. That is complete to Raymond. He is amazing at midfield. Raymond double team. And we have a penalty flight. We've had very rare penalties throughout this game. We have an encroachment or offside against Hawaii. Offside Great throw by defense. Romo, Jim, going to his left, first down. Enough to get, get enough on the ball to get it to Raymond. Rome, Romo is very impressive, folks, tonight, as I'm sure he is most every night. You see this, that's a terrific job, going to his left, getting enough on the ball, coming back with it, and Raymond has had quite a night. Hawaii going deep into the roster now. Into the game is Kila Kamaka Viva Ole. He's from Kaimaki. First down at midfield. Romo looking. Romo in trouble. Romo down. Alapa got him after. Great pressure by Ma'afala. And also in there. This is tremendous for Hawaii's football team to have a kind of a game where some players can get in the football game that haven't played a lot. It will, it will help their depth for the rest of the season. It'll help practice. You see Abu Ma'afala making another play. Chad Kalili Moku also had pressure on that last play. Second down and 17 from the 42. Romo hit as he throws. Boy, he was level. Level that time by Chad Kali'imoku. So Kali'imoku really making a name for himself. Kali'imoku from Santa Ana College, I believe. Santa Ana College, and he also went to Roosevelt, Honolulu Roosevelt. Third down and 17 for Eastern Illinois. Hawaii leading 54 to 23 in this game. Romo audibleizing. Triple wide receiver to the right. Romo rolling right. Throws long. That is caught by O'Neill. So Devin O'Neill able to bring the ball down at the Rainbow 46 yard line. That'll bring a fourth down. 11-yard game. You're going to see Romo gun this football. O'Neal right there, short of the first down. Nice sure tackle by Elamimian. Schofield in to punt for Eastern Illinois. 
Clifton Herbert is deep for Hawaii. And 11.33 left to play. Now timeout is called. Timeout, charge, University of Hawaii, first timeout. And the timeout is burned by Hawaii. That's the second, second half timeout. We'll take this break from Aloha Stadium. Hawaii leading 54-23. introducing my best ultimate cheeseburger ever. The meat's juicier, there's new sauces, even the wrapper's bigger just to hold them. Now I want to see what real people think. Hi, I'm Jared. I'm Jack. Where are you from, Jared? Subway. Want to try my new ultimate cheeseburger? Sure. So? Really good. Proof. Jared from the Subway digs my best ultimate cheeseburger ever. Best of luck to all Rainbow Warrior athletes and coaches from everyone at Big Island Candies in Hilo. Home of the famous chocolate dipped shortbread cookie as well as the brand new Bien Vivente cookies made with olive oil. It is fourth down and Eastern Illinois is going to go for it. Fourth down and six. The ball just outside the Rainbow 45 yard line. They come out with four wide receivers. Romo looking. Romo will run. Now he'll throw. It is caught by Raymond. Raymond down the sidelines and out of bounds. That's amazing. <laughs> Everybody in this stadium had a notion that it was going to be Raymond. And what Romo did was just wait for Raymond to get clear. Wait for that pattern to ripen. Here's the man right here. And he just works his way in a hole and Romo is able to get him the football. From Hialeah, Florida. First down. So they gamble on fourth down and they make it. Raymond is having an amazing game. Romo with time. Now throws. He wants the end zone. He wants Bumpus. And does he does he catch it for the for the touchdown? No. Raymond, 331 yards in total offense in this game. That's this amazing. Is, this is a pump and go off of the quick screen. That's close. That is very close. That is very close. You know. Nice catch by Bumpus. Oh, that's, a that's a great a, catch. You know, and that and that that dugout down there is really too close. I mean, that that's an accident waiting to happen right there. They've been studying that problem since 1975. Ball is given to Taylor. Taylor weaves his way into the Rainbow secondary on second down and 10. And he gets just short of the 21-yard line. This is just a safety thing, Jim, but I think these places down on the end that are too close, I think they need to fortify those with padding, with big pads, because you're talking about a major injury if a guy just loses a little control, and, uh, and, and that would be simple to do. Tell you the truth, I thought Bumpus had a touchdown. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, could have gone either way. Third down, third down and five. Romo throws. That is complete. To the end zone goes Jones, and he scores. Jones able to come across, and Chad Kapanuri was left in the distance. And so Jones was able to turn the corner. Jones used mainly as a blocker, but he comes around with a touchdown, and Romo succeeds again. Here we see it in replay. Romo to Jones, and Jones shakes a tackler. Shakes Kapanui and he's up the field for a touchdown. Romo's done a tremendous job of con con continuing to compete. 54 to 29. It has been an offensive show to say the least. 
and we still have 10 minutes and 31 seconds to play. Kuhn tacks on the point after. And it is now 54 to 30. <laughs> Delivery. Give me a shot if anybody comes in. You got it. What light? The mother load. Did you hear something? No, the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Bartender, 20 Bud Light. Oh, no. Make it a Bud Light. Sears Hawaii is a proud supporter of University of Hawaii Athletics. Central Pacific looking for? A loyal mascot to represent their loyal banking. Fifi, next. Fifi. What does this one do? Fifi. Good boy. That was pretty loyal. Here's the scoring drive. 71 yards in eight place, three minutes and eight seconds elapsed time. Three touchdown passes now for Romo. 286 yards. Kickoff goes to Chad Owens. Owens out over the 30-yard line to the 31. And Hawaii will put the ball in play at that point. We'll see which quarterback Hawaii will go with, and it is going to be Wilden. I would think it'd be Wilden the rest of the time. They just want to get him some snaps. Anybody that's one play away just needs to play. So Wilden first down from the 31. Wilden steps up, throws long, and that is broken up. Broken up by Roosevelt Williams was intended for Clifton Herbert. Kanale George is now in the game as, as a wide receiver for Hawaii number 87. He's out of IL and St. Louis School. Sophomore. He's flanked to the near side. Komine in the slot. So Hoy has gone to their reserve wide receivers. Ball is given to Brewster. And Brewster gets into the mix master and gets bounced around as he gets out to about the 34. In on the play of three. Timmy Chang tonight was 19 for 30, 374 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. So Timmy Chang, who kept telling people no, no, I'm going to play. Despite this uh, broken finger, I'm going to play. And he did. Third down and seven from the shotgun. Wielden throws. That is complete. And fumbling the ball. Fumbling the ball is Jeremiah Cochran. You know, Cochran, this... one of the reserves, he turns it over, and George Love falls on it for Eastern Illinois. And the truth is, Jim, here, if Eastern Illinois gets in the end zone here, this is a, this, this is a close football game. This is a 17-point game, and it could go either way. So this, is a, this could get exciting here. Nine minutes and 29 seconds left to play in the game. Hawaii turns it over. Hawaii's gone deep in, uh, to their bench here. Bob Spoo's team is still competing fiercely. He's got to be really proud of that and just got to still believe they can win here. If they can get the ball in the end zone right here, anything can happen. In motion is Raymond. And now some confusion, so Eastern Illinois calls a timeout. Verizon Hawaii proudly continues its support 
of the University of Hawaii General Scholarship Fund by honoring a player from each team in tonight's game. Verizon Hawaii bringing you super fast access to the internet with Verizon Online and DSL. So Hawaii going very deep into their bench, but you have to give credit to a team that's been pummeled here, especially uh, throughout the second quarter and the third quarter, and that's Eastern Illinois, especially Mr. Raymond. He continues to perform at a very high level. Well, he does, Jim, and as I say, this game, games are won when you're down by 26 points with, or 24 points with nine minutes left. It just takes a couple of plays here and there, so Hawaii has to continue to compete. Tony Romo, three touchdown passes in this game. Two to Bumpus. First down from the 35-yard line. Everybody's watching number five, Raymond, where he's going. He's the favorite receiver. He's been enmeshed in all kinds of offensive situations for Eastern Illinois throughout this game. Raymond sets up in the slot to the left. The motion is Taylor. Romo, five-man pattern. Romo in trouble. Romo now throws. That is complete to the tight end. And the tight end, Nick Eller, stumbles over a would-be tackler. Gets the first down. Gets all the way down to the 21-yard line. I can't That's tell. a 13-yard gain. I can't tell you what a great throw that is. I mean, look at him. He starts to run and just right here, just throws the football. He's trying to run. He has a presence of mind to lay the ball off with something on it. Romo to throw again. This one is high. It was intended for Raymond. Bonifa was very close to it. Bonifa has been having all kinds of trouble with Raymond. I mean, Raymond is really schooling him throughout this game. But at that time, Bonifa did the, did the job. I tell you, I thought Hawaii dodged the bullet on pass interference that time. I thought he was over his back. You may be correct, sir. You may be. There are just good quarterbacks everywhere. There are every the, the athletes, quarterback camps, opportunities to develop quarterback skills are all over the country. Romo Gancy now throws sidearms. It slings it in to Raymond, and Raymond takes a lick. Raymond took a lick from David Gilmore that time. Gilmore out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Raymond comes back to the inside, and Gilmore breaking on the football does a nice job of putting his helmet right down the middle of, of uh, Raymond. Third down and 10 from the 21-yard line. Hawaii continues to change personnel. I mean, that's a revolving door on this defense. So Hawaii now has gone back to their first club, and they put in the nickel defense. Chris Brown back at linebacker. Number 54. Romo third down and 10. Romo quick pattern. That is complete to O'Neill. Two steps in front of Gilmore and gets the first down to the 10 yard line. The 10 yard game. Nice throw to the outside again by Romo. And O'Neill down the sideline, picks up the first. Perhaps too much cushion that time had enabled him some wiggle room, literally, for the first down. First and ten from the 11. Jones in motion. Ball is given to Taylor. Taylor written down by Lahanui Correa. So Lahanui able to come over the top to make the tackle. Gain on the play from the 11 to about the 8. Gain of 3. Eastern Illinois can still get a first down at the one-yard line. 54 to 30. Hawaii leading with 8.33 left. Well, it's, you know, as far as I think Hawaii's doing a difficult thing here because they've set the first defense out and now they're back in. And it's difficult for players to get themselves emotionally ready to go again and put themselves in a critical situation. Promo into so, the end zone, incomplete. 
Jim, I think that uh, we, we, uh, we've got a situation here where the guys are coming back in. They've got to get themselves ready to go again, and that's, that's difficult. But if they can handle this, I think it's a real plus. It's like going back in after a sudden change, after a turnover. you just got to get yourself ready to play. Nick Eller, the intended receiver on that last attempt by Tony Romo. Third down and eight. Bumpus wide to the far side. To the near side is Raymond. In motion is O'Neill. Big play here on third down. Romo pump fakes now throws. That is to Raymond. Did he get over? Yes. Touchdown Raymond. He is driving Hawaii. He's crazy. Crazy. That's the fourth touchdown pass of this game for Romo. Nine yard touchdown pass that time. Everyone knows that it is Raymond and they still succeed. Number five right in the middle just sitting down in the zone defense penetrates the goal line touchdown. Now this football game is far from over. 17 points. It's it's just a couple of drives away from being being a tie football game. 54 to 36 is now the score and Eastern Illinois will try to go for two. Romo looking pump faking looking for Raymond now checks off comes back the other way. Now throws that caught caught by Eller. Now that's a two point conversion and now we have a penalty and we have the penalty called against Eastern Illinois. That's very fortunate for Hawaii. Because it would have been two scores had it would have been two scores. I would think they might. Well, they holding on the offense, 10 yards, previous spot. We'll redo the try. Uh, they may still go for two here, Jim. They, they want to get it down to two scores. They want to get it down to two scores, and uh, this will do it. Here comes Eastern Illinois. Raymond is flanked to the near side. Romo looking Raymond's way. Now looking again. Now throws over the middle. That's incomplete. That was intended for Hobson. Hobson twisted his ankle and he hops off the field. So that makes it 54 to 36. It's been an offensive epidemic in this game of much scoring. Hawaii going out to a huge lead. And now Eastern Illinois trying to come back, chip away. Raymond, by the way, 14 catches, 128 yards, and one touchdown. Nine rushes for 55 yards. 156 yards in kickoff returns. 339 yards in total offense. He's an amazing player. John West and Michael Brewster are deep for Hawaii. Kicking off is Kuhn. Eight minutes and eight seconds left. 54 36. Kuhn kicks it off. This will go to John West on the four. West out of San Diego, California. West to the 21. 7.58 left. That's still much time. Plenty of time if, if uh, Eastern Illinois can get a stop here, get the ball back. Uh, anything can happen. Jason Wielden remains a quarterback. As you uh, said, Coach, that he probably uh, will go the rest of the way. Michael Brewster goes back with him as the running back. Kanali George is flanked to the near side. In motion is Clifton Herbert, number 21. Ball is given to Brewster, and Brewster goes nowhere. What a play by Nick Ricks. Nick Ricks came in, and he almost got the handle. This is great penetration by Nick Ricks. He smelled, smelled this out. Running the draw. There is a bromide in college football that the biggest improvement in a team 
comes after the first game, from the first to the second week. Do you have any faith in that? I think it's. I think that's generally true. I think that's generally true because the players need a film to look at to, to really believe what the coaches have been harping on. And, and very seldom does a team play just its absolute best in the first game because uh, they haven't been able to scrimmage. I think it has a lot to do with how hard they were able to work against each other in the in the early practices. And Hawaii doesn't scrimmage very much, uh, whether Eastern Illinois does or whatever, but I think there will be great improvement for both teams. Clifton Herbert running on that last play. Mike Marcus Lorick made the tackle for the Panthers. Now, you don't want to over-dramatize, Jim, but this is a big down right here. This is third down and, and five, and we've got over six minutes left, and uh, if they get a stop here, it could be exciting. Wielden waiting for the snap from Puata. Wielden in trouble. Wielden still alive, now throws. That is complete. Out over the 40 to the 45-yard line to Jeremiah Cochran. That's great fight by, by Wilden. Tremendous fight by Wilden. Because he's dead to rights right here. He just keeps fighting. He keeps working. He finds somebody to throw the football to. So Cochran, Cochran. able to uh, carry it into Eastern Illinois Territory. We do have a penalty for it. You can hear the referee, but we can't. Dead ball, first little foul on the defense, 15 yards to the end of the run, automatic first down. So a personal foul. It appeared to be, according to the signal, roughing the passer. So that moves it to the 35-yard line. First down for Hawaii at the 35. Wheeled in the quarterback, triple wide receiver to the near side. And again, Herbert in motion, number 21. Wheeled in looking, throws. That is incomplete. Interference, no doubt. Interference, contact, Vince Lewis. Vince Lewis was uh, wrapped up with Clifton Herbert. Five minutes and 49 seconds left to play in the game. Vince Lewis came over the back. Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul. Automatic first down. Just tried to go through the receiver to the ball. Need to play the ball all the way. But Eastern Illinois just fighting, trying to make a play. That moves the ball to the 23-yard line. It is first down for Hawaii. They lead in this game 54 to 36. Herbert again in motion. Wilden throws. That is complete to Komeni. And Komeni goes inside the 13 to the 12-yard line. That's enough for a first down. Hawaii really exports the fat, the flat, and everything they do. Nice throw by Wilden. So the ball is on the 12. Cochran, Komine, and Herbert are to the far side. Brewster is the single setback. Kanali to the near side. There's the pitch to Brewster. Brewster rips the ground. Boy, there's Ricks again. Wheeled in four for eight in passing for uh, 68 yards in this game. The speed option is a good play to run into the sideline when you're trying to conserve time because the ball is probably going to be out of bounds if it's pitched. 526 left to play. Jim, right now about uh, three, three and a half hours old. This is a quick one, huh? It's a quick one. Cochran to the far side. Canale to the near side. 
Second down and 10 from the 12. Wilden. Touchdown. Kamina. Wilden really thread, threaded the needle that time. Good, crisp touchdown pass by Wilden. Wilden does a nice job here. He sets up nice and tall in the pocket. Delivers the ball on time to Tomini. Tremendous throw. Again, good protection. I think the most outstanding thing for Hawaii tonight on offense has been her pass protection. It's just been terrific. And, and the offensive line should be the strength of the offensive football team. Another penalty. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct, Sussex celebration after the touchdown on the offense. 15 yards will be on the try. Another excessive celebration. I did not see that. You know, I did not see that either. And the, the thing that Coach Jones is, is doing, I'm sure, is, is the guys all have a good time with that, except if it's a close game, you don't want to be kicking, you know, 40-yard extra points. You know, and so uh, I think you just need to make sure the guys understand in the film session tomorrow that uh, this is the kind of thing that youthful exuberance is one thing, but we just can't cost ourselves a ball game. Another 35-yard extra point. Kamine, his first career touchdown, and for Wielden, that's his first touchdown pass. Now, is this excessive? He threw the ball down. That's I it? Guess, yeah, you're supposed to hand the ball to the official. Now, I think that's really nitpicky, but the rules are you're supposed to hand the ball to the official. But that is that is really nitpicky at, at this point, but that would be called in, in the game next week or the conference championship or whenever. Kamine, three catches, 47 yards, and one touchdown. The drive, 78 yards in six plays, two minutes and 46 seconds. And it's now 61 to 36. So 97 points have been scored in this game. And we still have five minutes and 22 seconds left. If you can't make it to Aloha Stadium, K5, the home team in Oceanic Cable, would like to encourage you to check out these locations for live telecasts of University of Hawaii home football this season. There's the kickoff, and it is taken. By Sanders, Karen Sanders, one of the upmen. And Sanders returns it. <laughs> Romo was still in the game. Sanders returns it out to, to the 26-yard line. So Coach Boo is using this opportunity to give Romo many opportunities to try to move the football team. Raymond is the setback. Jones in motion. Here's Raymond. And they bottle him up. Raymond hit by Colin Wills, number 95. Wills in on the tackle. And the clock will go under five minutes now. 61-36. Hawaii leading. Rose, that is, is that complete to O'Neill? We have a penalty play. Getting back to the original line of scrimmage. And Hawaii again offside. Lamar Broadway covering on that play. Lamar Broadway just into the game. 5'11", redshirt freshman from Corona High School. He's from the same high school as Mike Bass, Centennial High School Offside in Corona. On the defense. Five yards, previous five, down is still two. So it is second down and eight following that offside penalty. Raymond is to the near side. Romo with time. With time. Now throws. And O'Neill cannot hold on, and the ball's almost picked off by Kapanui. So 
a good job by O'Neill trying to come up with that catch. Third down and eight. Cameron Hollingsworth now in at one of the uh, corners, number 28. So everyone has played tonight for Hawaii, literally. This Osborne will, is to the far side. This will be good for the football team as the season progresses with so many guys have played. Romo throws crossing pattern. O'Neill broken up nicely by Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth was right with him. That was textbook. Hollingsworth out of Leavenworth, Washington. Went to Cascade High School. Redshirt freshman. That'll bring up fourth down. And Tom Schofield has come in to kick with four minutes and 25 seconds left to play in the game. Many of those in the crowd have departed. Schofield gets it away. Herbert comes over, takes it on the fly at the 35, 40. Herbert breaks a tackle, still on his feet. Herbert trying to get to the near side, picking up blockers at midfield. Herbert at the 40 of Eastern Illinois at the 31. An exciting run by Clifton Herbert. Clifton Herbert showing terrific feet here. Just an ability. Hawaii has numerous return people. Whether it be Bass or Herbert or Owens, whoever, have many options in the return game. Wielden, at quarterback, first down from the 31 of Southern Illinois. Coming around the near side is number six, Brewster. And Brewster inside the 15 all the way to the 13. Boy, he turned that corner with purpose. Followed Ryan Santos around the corner. Santos in now in that offensive line. Brewster has just shown real good quickness tonight. Of course, on a run like this, he's just got everybody's knocked down, and he just runs around the end, but he shows terrific quickness. And he did show, he showed that last year in practice. So Wielden in striking distance again. He's already thrown one touchdown pass. That was to Comine. Triple wide receiver to the right. In motion. Clifton Herbert. And we have movement. Ball again. It's given him an inside handoff to Brewster. And that was after the yellow flags had fluttered earthward. Prior to the snap, ball starts on the offense. Five yards, previous spot. The down is still one. So the false start on Hawaii. Wilden goes over and checks June Jones. Wilden will come back into the huddle with 402 left. Cochran, Comine, and Herbert to the far side. Canella again sets up on the left. Ball is given to Brewster, trying to turn the corner. The 10 and it gets wedged to the turf at the 8. The first and 15, it will now be second down. Good 10 yard run on that play. Second down and five. And the ball is placed just inside the nine yard line. 333 left to play in the game. Cochran, again, those three amigos off to the far side and Canelli to the near side. Wilden from the shotgun along with Brewster. Brewster. Brewster needed some help. He didn't get it. Brewster tried to run it up the middle. Nothing really developed. And Jacob Maurer was there to plug the hole for Eastern Illinois. Clock continues to tick. Just a nice play by Maurer of stepping up inside. Romo, by the way, of Eastern Illinois, the quarterback, 30 of 53, 319 yards. 
and four touchdowns. Wilden. Wilden leaping to the five-yard line, but he is short of the first down. That will bring a fourth down with 2.34 and the clock ticking away, looking to the sideline. There's no real purpose here to kick a field goal. Might as well go for it. Fourth and two. Ball just outside the five. Same offensive set. Let's see what develops to. Wilden trying to find Comina, but he was surrounded. He was triple teamed. So away oh, fritters away the drive on the five-yard line. And Eastern Illinois will have it with two minutes and one second left to play in this game. Let me turn to you, Coach. I mean, your impressions, first of all, on how the the Warriors conducted themselves tonight in, in the first game. And, and I ask that question because it is the first game, and it's a lot of different things you can think about. Well, I think there have been a lot of good things, Jim. I thought uh, Timmy Chang has really warmed to the task as the night has gone on. I think uh, the offensive line has done an outstanding job of pass protection. I think the receivers have, have, have uh, familiarized themselves with each other a little bit more. I think, I think uh, certainly the, the defense against the run, uh, to me, was the biggest negative. But I think that probably stood to reason because of just uh, what they've been confronted with in practice and, and uh, the style of attack that Eastern Illinois has. And I think the defense against the run will be much improved in the next game because of this because I think you have to see a frontal assault in order to get good at it because it requires real discipline up front. So I, I think Hawaii has really acquitted themselves well, I think. Uh, but obviously, the defensive coaches are going to say that's too many points and, and the kicking game mistakes here and there. But I think for a first game, to get a win against the quality opponent, uh, no matter how you do it, is a good thing. And they'll improve a lot between now and next week. And I think this game was played also. And we look at this last play. I think it was there was an emotional difference in the two teams early in the game. Eastern Illinois had the edge. Oh, what you a tackle. It. That's uh, Khalili Moku. It's Khalili Moku. Terrific play. He is going to be an outstanding player. And there was a possibility of redshirting him. But I think he's going to really contribute. So I think I'm very impressed with Hawaii. I think this is a good win. And I think Eastern Illinois is going to have a good team when they get in their league. Uh, they showed tremendous determination and grit. And you'll see a much more emotionally ready Hawaii team next week at BYU. And that's a, a throw intended for Hobson that's, that's uh, off the mark. Kyle Kissick in at quarterback. He has run uh, the team on this series. And he goes three and out. But I, my, my impression is, Jim, I think there was a differential in the teams emotionally at the beginning of the game. And then Hawaii stepped it up when they saw that this was going to be a tough evening. And, uh, and did some good things, but there are many, many, many things they're going to have to do better to have a chance to win next week. Big punt, the throw that was intended for Justin Morris. And on fourth down, Eastern Illinois gives it up on the nine-yard line with 33 seconds left. What Hawaii will do is take a knee. I don't think you ought to run your fake punt when you're no. down by... by uh, by 30 points or 25 points, I think you ought to save it for a close game when you can win the game with the fake punt. Uh, unless you got a lot of things like that you want to do, because I just think that wastes the bullet that you might need later. So does Hawaii take a knee here? I think they take a knee. Yeah, they will. 33 seconds left. This will be the final play of this game. Hawaii will win it 61 to 36. 97 points put up on the board. Hawaii is one and oh. And it was a battle in the early going. Hawaii pulling away in the second quarter and also in the third quarter. But an exciting game nonetheless, especially when you consider the performance of Andre Raymond of uh, Eastern Illinois. I mean, he was everywhere. He was every man. And he had a fantastic game. The coaches shake hands at, in the middle of the field. And there you see uh, Coach Jones being an ex-quarterback himself. He's going to congratulate a quarterback who has performed very well. Four touchdown passes, 319 yards for Tony Romo. More to come.
Everything's got to uh, work like, um, it's like uh, it's a symphony, right? Mm -hmm. So the piston goes down, then it's going to come back up. That's the job of the piston. You got your valves, you're like little doors, you know? Sometimes you get these, you get deposits on your valves. It's, it's not the valve's fault. It's the gas you're buying. If you used Chevron with Tecron, we wouldn't be having this discussion. No gasoline cleans better than Chevron with Tecron. No monkeying around now. Tonight's Verizon Hawaii Most Valuable Players are for the University of Hawaii, Timmy Chang. I mean, he came on, he started 374 yards and three touchdowns. He was 19 for 30. Andre Raymond, 335 all-purpose yards for Eastern Illinois. He is our player of the game for the Panthers. Verizon Hawaii is pleased to make a contribution for scholarships at the University of Hawaii. Verizon Hawaii Innovative Solutions for all your communications needs. With the final score, Hawaii up over Eastern Illinois. And Hawaii finally running away for a 61-36 victory. This has been another broadcast of the Warrior Football Network for my broadcast partners, Dick Tomey and Russell Yamanoha. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, ma'lama bono ke kahi, ike kahi. Services have been provided by KAE Ice House in exchange for promotional consideration. The team they love to play, Brigham Young University. Last December, the BYU Cougars ran into a buzzsaw in Honolulu. There were offensive fireworks from both teams, but Hawaii went above and beyond at astounding 72 points and 646 yards of total offense. The Cougars' undefeated season was history as the Warriors rolled to a 72-45 victory that electrified the 50th state. Now, nine months later, the rematch is at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. It's a full house of the BYU faithful here in Provo, and they want some payback. It's Hawaii and BYU. Get ready for a lot of points on the scoreboard. Two of the most prolific offenses in the NCAA are ready to do battle. Let's go down to the field and join Alex Flanagan with Cougar coach Gary Croton. Coach, last year you had a hard time stopping Hawaii. BYU fans have been waiting for this game for a long time. What can they expect tonight? This is a new team. They're a new team. We've got good chemistry right now. I think the guys are prepared well, and I think we're going to come out and play real good today. What is the key to beating this team tonight? We need to play well on special teams, not turn the ball over on offense, and defense contain the big plays. Okay, Coach, good luck. You bet. All right, Alex, thank you. I, I don't know about the BYU football team, but the band is ready. We are just minutes away from kickoff. But first, let's head back to the studio, and we join Reese Davis. Jeff, thank you very much. Trev Alberts, Mark May here as well. You know, the big play not contained last year, but at least Ashley Lalee has now gone to the pros. Yeah. Mark, uh, all those points last year, the overlooked factor, defense, because there wasn't any last year. <laughs> not at all. It was a track meet out there on the field last year. But what's key this year, as you look at Gary Croton's defense, they only gave up 128 yards passing to Syracuse last week. They got three sacks and created three turnovers. Now, I'm not saying that they're going to control this Hawaii offense, but I think they can contain this offense, and the biggest improvement for the BYU Cougars this year, their defense. Yeah, but that was against Syracuse. See, that's the problem. Look, I think that's why BYU is going to win the game. I think you look at BYU, the balance that they have on offense. If you look at this Hawaii defense, they gave up 319 yards passing to Eastern Illinois. That's the bottom line for me. BYU wins the game. And you know, we get some emails, BYU and the BCS. No, 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 wait. BYU's a good football team, but I don't think they're going to be in the BCS. Well, they've got plenty of time to prove their case if they want to do that throughout the course of the season. We've got some time coming up at halftime to look forward to a big Saturday in college wow. football. Miami and Florida, we'll talk about that one. And, of course, it's Friday night, so we'll do our high school showcase game of the week. Take you out to Indianapolis for Ben Davis against Warren Central. Ben Davis losing in the first week of the season. We'll see if they can bounce back and share the spotlight on Friday night. We are going to beautiful Provo, Hawaii, and BYU with 72-45 last year. What kind of numbers we're going to ring up tonight. We'll be back after this. Consider this. New Shell gasoline is specially formulated to help prevent deposits in your engine. And a clean engine performs better. Is it any wonder, then, why so many drivers choose Shell? Why am I Mr. Pink? Why can't we pick our own colors? The Reservoir Dogs 10th Anniversary 2-Disc Special Limited Edition DVD. Interviews with Quentin Tarantino and the cast. Plus deleted scenes. Four different packages. One killer DVD. Buy it today. I gotta wait.
Better on your face, better in your mouth. Better outside, better, better in your house. Better on the couch, better on your lawns. Better get it now, better get Papa John's. Sure, Papa John's makes an incredible pizza, but wait until you...